All right. Let us know when we're good, Nick. Wait, what's the order of the vinyl giveaway? Should we do uh, Future first? Future first, then Zell second, and then Kendrick last. Fire. Feel the fire. Mm-hmm. And we are now live, guys. Welcome to NFR's 2022 Rap Award Show. And guys, it has been a spectacular year. Uh, year, excuse me. Guys, thank you so much. I mean, listen, 365, we get to witness you guys come in every single week, support us on a daily basis too. Um, it's just amazing to witness. So thank you so much from the whole NFR team. You know, we hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season, but we have a very important a night A very tonight. special night, a lot of awards to give out, a lot of prizes to give out for our lucky winners. And the way that's going to work tonight is that we have 20 different categories. We have best rap album, best live performer, and so much more. And the whole NFR team actually ended up voting for these categories and shout out to them because this whole award show wouldn't be possible without everyone on the team. So it drops some W's for Nick, Luca, Mark, Bruno, the entire squad. But apart from that, um, we're also going to be doing some raffles for some vinyls. All right, let's get And we business. have Futures, I Never Liked You to start off. There we go. It's actually beautiful. You know, like if I enjoyed the album a bit more, maybe I would have comped this. But what else do we got here, Lou? We got Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. Yes, I have this. I got it for Christmas, and we we're like, you know what? Let's give another one of these away, man. It's a beautiful vinyl, too. And then to end off the year, one of the biggest moments in NFR this year was actually our Kendrick Lamar rollout. I mean, going back to May of 2022, it was a massive time. The whole community showed up, so we thought it would be fitting to give away. Missed them around, the big steppers yes, on sir. vinyl, guys. What a ridiculous moment for the whole community. And um, listen, you know, just thank you so much for the support, really, even for me personally. I mean, it's been such a beautiful year. Um, you guys have helped this whole team grow to places that we can't even imagine and you know fuck it let's see what happens yeah. in 2023 much so. love to all of you guys like we said uh, we wouldn't be able to be at the point that we're at now without all of your support and love and speaking of these vinyls the way it's going to work is that we're actually raffling them off and one super chat equals one entry to have a chance to win a vinyl the way it's going to work is that at the end of the first five categories we'll be giving away i never liked you at the end of the first 15 categories it'll be time for us to give away melma i see your future and by the end of the award ceremony we are going to be giving away mr morale and the big steppers as the closer and uh yeah you guys can send in as many super chats as you want obviously the more you send in the higher your chances are in theory to actually win one of these vinyls but Without further ado, bro, you ready? I'm super ready, And by ready, the way, guys. I don't know if we mentioned this, but you guys get to actually vote on these awards as well through our polls. So that's going to be fun. The way it's going to work is that we'll make you guys vote first, see if we agree with you guys or not, and then open up these envelopes that we have right here. Yeah. Very, very official. Very right? official with them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, last year was so fun too. I mean, we got to start it off and, you know, the turnout was ridiculous last year. And it was just like a concept that I think we've been doing actually since 2020, I believe, right? Like we started it off when we had just started off on YouTube, um, you know. But we, that wasn't a live stream though. But I that think wasn't a live this stream. This is our second annual uh, Yeah, then we were stream. like, fuck it. Let's live stream it with the whole community and actually make it an event. So let me pull this up here. Let's get this started. So Lou... Um, take people through what type of events we have tonight, man. What's going down as far as the categories go? What have you been seeing in the community as far as reception on our stuff? Like, yeah, people what's been seem to be, you know, claiming us to be the better award show uh, in comparison to the Grammy. So, thank you guys for that. Um, obviously, we don't have the same budget as them, but I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe our taste is a bit more exquisite. Um, but no, for real, we have best live performer, best non-rap album, best feature of the year, and just. You know, kind of the conversations that we've been having all year round for the best artists, albums, and songs of the year. So it's going to be a fucking treat to go through all of these. So um, let's get things started with some super chats, actually, bro. Absolutely. Before we dive let's into that it. first category. So let's see where we're at here with this. I believe we have a couple of super chats. So Cito Flex and Azak, you have been entered into the raffle officially. Thank you so much for the donations. And um, I'm going to go through a couple of more of people that just wanted to send in donations as far as a rapper, uh, as far as a raffle ticket goes. So also Dane, you have been entered into the raffle to start off the award show. Then I believe, oh, hold on. My page just died on me, bro. I don't know why. You um, we also that. have uh, Jimmy. We have Toby. We have Dane. We have Malik. And that's it for anyone that didn't send in any messages. But thank you, guys. You guys have been entered into the raffles. But we also have a super chat from Nad starting us off with a message. Nad, welcome to the stream. And you said, need that Kendrick vinyl. His live show in London was unbelievable. Love the channel, guys. Been waiting for this one. 
much love to you and yeah bro that's on my fucking bucket list to see kendrick live I, so. i've gotten to see him man it's yep. a special experience and um thank you so much now we appreciate you you have been officially entered as lou has said but let me keep going on with this i believe we are currently jose. at hold on a second let me pull this up yeah we're at jose you said smino robbed listen i could have probably included love for rent in a couple of categories but unfortunately did not make it but he was in my short list for top 10 albums of the year but you have been entered into the raffle we got colby cole one of the biggest ogs in the community guys much w's for colby. colby w's for fucking colby man he's like like literally showing up in every single stream um supporting us loving us and we love him so thank you so much for a beautiful year and you said nfr awards suited up very classy thank you so much <laughs> we appreciate you um so you have been entered then we have dylan you guys uh, you guys how's it going it's been going great holiday season has been super relaxing and feels great to be back in the studio after yeah, a nice christmas a blessing so, to wrap up the year absolutely. of music with you guys tonight um but next up we have dj dj Thank you so much for the generous donation. You said, just want to support the community. We appreciate that. Mama, I see your future and her loss should win tonight. Which mm. categories? They got a lot of noms. They, did, they were they some of the of biggest noms. and best moments of the year. So we had to show them love on that end. Um, but let me go on to Quack. I hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you so much for pulling up. And you said, Aunt, where is the Montreal hat? Listen, <laughs> I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan, but putting a cap with a suit would be a sin. So yeah, I, don't I, think, I feel like you've rocked that cap for like 90% of the life. I'm telling you, I'm going to make the Montreal Canadiens cap famous like the Yankee cap. I swear to God, bro, it's going to be a new thing. So I'm going to continue. That. Absolutely. I'm going to continue rocking it all year next year. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to White Club Jean. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, brother. And you said, can't wait for Kendrick to sweep the awards this year. Very bold take. I, I think like that it. he was actually the most nominated artist out of every single category. He's pretty much like in every single fucking category. So we'll see how much luck he gets. But next up, we have Anand, another massive OG. Thank you so much for all the support throughout the year. You said, been a sub since, since 10K. That's fucking crazy. We appreciate that. Great to see you all doing so well. Do you guys think rap will even get the proper representation it deserves of the Grammys? I mean, already I feel like it's maybe underrepresented in terms of how many categories it has. But I think the last time an album won Best Album, a rap album, excuse me, won Best Album of the Grammys was like Speaker Box, The Love Below, which yeah, was like it, fucking 20 years it, ago. It so. was a while ago. But listen, we'll see what happens at the end of the year. But listen, okay, let's end off with Malik. Yeah. Uh, Virginity Rocks. <laughs> that's a fire name. <laughs> Jack and Leo. Um, you guys have all really been... Rock. <laughs> <laughs> everyone has been entered um, into, this, um, into the raffle for tonight. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, guys. Um, but okay, we get this started let's with the first award. Let's get it started. And the first category is for Best Live Performer. And I'm going to go through the nominations. And you guys are actually going to get to vote for this category through a poll right now. So the nominations, hold on a second, for, hold on, I got to go all the way at the end here. Best live performer, we have Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T, Jaleel, and Playboy Cardi. Bro, I don't know if you've seen Jaleel's fucking live performances. The guy's doing black backflips like... It's a whole acrobatic Cirque du Soleil type of it's vibe. It's crazy. It's with absolutely Jaleel. crazy. So I don't think he's going to win, but he deserves some love for what all he's right. done. Um... All right, so we have over 182 votes already. 67% of people saying Kendrick. Are you surprised by this? I'm not surprised. I mean, there has been such great reception around this new tour that I think that, you know, he's going to be considered one of the best live performers of at least our generation. And, I mean, listen, what a treat to be able to watch this guy live. It's really, really sick. So Even um, that whole yeah. box he put himself into. Crazy. That, the uh, way that he disappears from his acts, I mean, it's yeah. just it's absolutely incredible. So, listen, best live performer, according to community score, is Kendrick Lamar with 63%. Number two is Playboy Cardi with 25%. 25%, 26 at the moment, actually. Then third, we have Jaleel. So Jaleel is not finishing last today. He has 9%, and Pusha T has 3 Very interesting conversation People going are saying on right it now. should be Jaleel. People, some people are saying Cardi makes concert music. I feel you guys. I feel you. Um, let's get through a couple more Super Chats to give you guys some time to vote, and then we'll actually be getting into unveiling our winner. So let's see where we're at right now. Give me one second. Oh, man, these drinks are fire, too. Yep. Yeah. We got some... What's your guys' drink of choice with, with the holidays? Let me know what's going on um, Shout out to Dane who says, love y'all boys. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Next up, we have Dylan who says, y'all look crazy good. Appreciate you. Appreciate we had to show out for tonight without a doubt. Um, next up, we have Leo, Jack, Aiden. You guys have all been entered into the raffle. Beckett, you've been entered. Thank you so much for pulling up. And you said, one mil in 2023 incoming. Wow, that would be crazy. That'd be that'd be a dream, bro. That sure. would be a dream. Yeah, in 2023, that would be very soon. We'd be very, you know, we'd be ecstatic Honored, that that would sure. happen. Absolutely. But I'm going to keep going on with this. What's up, Kyle? Massive OG in the community. Glad to see you here tonight, bud. And you said, holy crap, boys, y'all looking fresh as fuck. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I like your handkerchief, bro. But let's keep going Thank on you. with this. Let me go on to Matthew Jordan, another huge OG in the community. And he said, my top three album of the years are the same as yours at 
Matthew Jordan, you have exquisite taste, my friend. But w. thank you so much for supporting this year. Then we got Gardo. I hope you're doing well tonight, bro. And he said, y'all dripped out looking good. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Then we got the New York hip-hop spot in the house tonight. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. We appreciate you. And you said, I have to free my schedule and pop out. This is Real Music Award to be looking forward to all year. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, awesome. And this wouldn't be able to be possible without you guys. But, Lou, are we jumping into Let's it, Let's jump into it. So, the winner for Best Live Performer... Open this bad boy up. Who did you vote for? I'm not gonna tell you. Not gonna tell, tell me. Who. who do you think won? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. It's the guy that I saw live. So the winner is Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar for go. best live performer. There we go. Salute. Kendrick has Salute already gone to Kendrick. One. Kendrick has already won up over everyone. So let's see how many Kendrick actually tallies up tonight. But absolutely. Let's see but yeah, I mean, uh, can't wait to see him uh, this summer, bro. He's coming to Oceaga. That's going to be a fucking W. He is. But let's go into the next category, Lou. What do we have going on the right now? The next category is for best non-rap album. And the nominations are... I know a lot of people think that we have snubs for this one. The nominations are Don FM by The Weeknd, SOS by SZA, mm -hmm. Motomami by Rosalia, and Gemini Rights by Steve Lacey. What did you pick on here? Um, I, I, what did you pick? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll say honestly, it. Honestly, do you think there's any snubs in here? Um, because I've been listening to that album called um, "Ants from Up There" by Black Country New Road. It's been getting a lot of hype, and it's fucking amazing. So I think that's one that we kind of left out. But any snubs in your opinion, apart from that? I mean, those are the albums that I appreciate maybe the most this year. But I mean, we also like we went with a lot of community favorites as well and stuff like that. So I mean, like. Any non-rap album, I mean, it's any album possible live to man. So it's so hard to narrow it down to just four. Um, but listen, all four of those albums are absolutely incredible. So, I mean, I don't feel bad having them on the list whatsoever. But let's keep going on with this. What's going on? Um, Danae, hope you're doing well tonight. And you have been entered into the raffle. What's going on? Marcelo, hope you're doing well. You have been entered into the raffle tonight. Then we got Riley. You have been entered into the raffle as well. And you said, bro, I'm trying to get the Kenny one, please. <laughs> listen, you've been entered. So you're one chance away of getting it. But let's go to Nathan DP, one of the biggest OGs in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight, bro. And you said, hey guys, Forever Story and Her Loss should be should win their categories. Also, and the Ginger Blyking believed it um, with the Mac feature. I did. It was fantastic. But That's off the, the, the vision, yes. Bro. Absolutely. Amazing yeah, that, uh, song. Fantastic. And you have been entered into the raffle, Nathan. But let me go on to Aaron. You have been entered and you said, hoping for that Kendrick vinyl. Keep it up, guys. Appreciate you so much, bro. Glad you're here tonight. Let me keep going on to Jackson M, one of the biggest OGs in the community. Actually, Jackson has been a supporter of NFR Podcast, fun fact, since 2019, when we literally had like 15 listeners per Fuck, episode. Man. It's crazy, so shout out to Jackson, brother. It's crazy it's been, that he even found us it, in 2019. You know, he was trying you know? to, the story goes, because I got into contact with Jackson, he was actually trying to find my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy on Spotify and came up with one of our old episodes, and he's been here ever since. We really appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for the 365, and you said Cole is the greatest feature artist of this year, plus of all time. There's I debate there. There is debate there. There is debate there but we'll have to see later down the line when he ends it. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Joshua. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, brother. You have been entered into the raffle as well. And you said, what a year of music in 2022. Some massive releases. And Joshua, you have been entered into the raffle, and I agree with you. 2022 has been a beautiful year. Everything from cheat codes, everything from Joe Music and Zion, Vinyl Days 2000, Mr. Morale, Melt My Eyes, The Forever Story, Her Loss, you know, Heroes and Villains. Like, geez, I, I just... You could yeah. go through a whole fucking year's worth of music, and I'm glad it happened this year because it was a quiet three years. I'm going to say that. It was, 2021 was popping, bro. You can't say it was. The quality wasn't. was not on par with this year. It was. You the had Simbi. You had Call Me If You Get Lost. You had The Offseason. You had great fucking albums. You can't you did. You did, it. but 2022 was a better year. It's a better year, you could argue, but I'm just saying it's, it's close, bro. And I feel like if you're talking about the best album of 2020's decade, it's from 2021. All That's right. all I'm going to say. But um, let's see what you guys are saying for this poll. What are we at right now? Don FM is the winner, according to you guys, after over 600 votes. 51%. SOS, second place with 29%. Gemini writes, 17%. Motomami, 3%. Motomami is not getting the love it deserves. I heard that album, bro, and like... The production's incredible the on production that album. production is amazing. Fucking Rosalia's sick. vocals, just so experimental. She's so quirky, too, bro, with the way that she delivers her albums. Like, um, she's an artist I've been getting into, and, man, I had, she's, she makes good car music as well, bro. That's another thing, bro. Like, I sometimes I'd be driving, I'm like, fuck it, let me throw on, like, Motomami, bro, and see what happens. So, yeah. fire. Fire release right, this let's year, let's unveil let's our it. winner for best non-rap album. I'm not going to lie. I went Don FM as well. What did you go with? Don FM, baby. That's how we kicked off 2022. That and the winner is, is Don <laughs> FM by the weekend, baby. Let's yes, go. Yes, sir. It's one Love of the biggest earth. moments of the year. And it's crazy because the first week of January... 
that's how we kicked off our year for NFR. And let me tell you guys something, okay? Since everyone's at the award show tonight, I think I could drop a big gem. We have something coming tomorrow. Something, something is going to be coming in the water tomorrow. I can't tell you guys what, but keep those eyes peeled. Head to the socials, maybe around the afternoon time, and just see what happens because something will happen. But guys, it has been an amazing year, and Don FM was an incredible oh, way to man. start off. That, that's still one of my favorite like album experiences I've had all year, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, like that narration, just the, those synth escapades that you know the weekend brought us on. What a fucking journey that album is, guys. And if you haven't bumped it somehow yet, please do so. But um, the next category is going to be for best album title. This is a fun one. This was a fun one. What do we have um, here? We have God Don't Make Mistakes by Conway the Machine. We have Melt My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry. We have Soul Sold Separately by Freddie Gibbs. And I Never Liked You by Future. Anything Incre gets snubbed in your opinion? No, I think that was good. Those those also created a good amount of conversation within the community. So it was quite impressive to see. But let's get on to some more Super Chats, guys. What's going on, Holden, Timon, Bob, Jonathan, Nathan? You have all been entered into raffle. You guys didn't leave any Super Chats down, but we appreciate you. Thank you so much for participating in tonight's raffle. But let's go on to Piñata. I hope you're doing well tonight, brother. And you said big love for an off-radio podcast. I appreciate you actually going the full way to spell out the whole name. That's so, G. That's awesome. Um, we love you. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. And you said, I never liked you for album of the year. Well, listen, you have been just entered into the vinyl giveaway for um, for this album. So, I mean, you could possibly win it tonight. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Spicy Lad. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. And you said, much love to you guys and the whole NFR team. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And the whole NFR team appreciates you guys. Really, like, it's uh, it's been a crazy year. And, I mean, fuck, we have a ridiculously good team behind yeah, us, Yeah, we're too, just you know? blessed to have you guys uh, supporting us as much as you do. But next up, we have Lauren. Lauren, thank you so much. Big OG. Glad to see you made it out tonight. And you said, copped miseducation of Miss Lauren Hill vinyl yesterday. And can't believe I was at this award show um, a year ago. Y'all have come a long way, boys. Hashtag NFR for L. Um, thank you so much, Lauren. I mean, you've been around um, helping us out, giving us recommendations and just being a great friend for a, while, a long time. So we really appreciate you, bro. And you copying Miseducation of Lauren Hill. I mean, one of the fucking best albums ever. Bro. It is There's one no of the debate. best albums of all time, really. So listen, Lauren, happy new year to you and your family. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. But let's keep going on with this. I believe we are currently at Leo right now. We appreciate you, bro. You have been entered into the vinyl giveaway and you said, Melt My Eyes, your future solos for real. It's my album of the year. I think it's the greatest accomplishment this year. Has the highest highs this year. Consistency within the record is beautiful. I had it at my number it's one. It's a great choice for sure. Let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Dylan Hickey, one of the biggest OGs in the community. You have been here a while, brother. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. And you said Happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year's to you and your family. And that goes for anyone that's in the chat right now. If you guys are enjoying this experience, smash the like button. But Lou, listen, we're almost there. We're almost at five albums. You want to go over the giveaway for tonight, bro? Let's do it, Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. So tonight we are giving away three different vinyls through a raffle. And the way the raffle is going to actually work is that one super chat equals one entry into the raffle. And it doesn't matter the dollar amount. And of course, the more um, you know super chats you guys send in, the more chances you have at winning one of these vinyls. We're giving away the first one after five categories we're giving away the second one after 15 categories and by the end of the award ceremony we'll be giving away the last one which is mr morale and the big steppers by kendrick lamar there we go there we go by the, awesome. I, how many categories we're in three categories we're already, already three categories deep bro it's going fast it is um, going very fast. let's go through two more super chats and then we'll get back to um the winners so next up we have dylan once again thank you so much for pulling up bro and you said forever story should win it all I mean, yeah, it's my album of the year. I think it's the most impressive body of work that I uh, that I heard this year. So I hope it does uh, do well. Next up, Joshua. Thank you so much. You said saw a Big Stepper tour in Australia, Melbourne. Best show. Yeah, I'm jealous of you, bro. For real. I, I wish I could have gone to that one. Um, next up, we have Olivier. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. We appreciate the support. You say love the channel. Thank you. Um, listening since 2020 from Quebec. That's awesome. Like, we never really know how many like Montrealers or Quebecers are actually like listening to yeah, this. Yeah, it's and incredible. And we live in sick. an incredible place. I will tell you that much. One thing I did learn this year was, um, you know, how beautiful the city is, how grateful I am for living in this beautiful city and um, just whatever comes with it, you know. So whether you're living, you know, in North America, in Asia, in Europe, whatever it is, just be grateful for where you live and where you come from, because that is very important as your progression as a human All being. All right. So best album title. You guys have voted. The results are in. Melt My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry has won from the community um, standpoint. So um, shout out to Denzel. 
What did you fo- vote for on this one? That was it. Melt My Eyes to Your Ooh. Future. What a crazy album title. And fun fact, we actually were talking to a gentleman by the name of Sean Kay um, out in uh, out in Atlanta, and he was helping Denzel Curry with some creative choices on the album, and um, he helped him you know, go through the album and flesh it out with him. And uh, Melt My Eyes to Your Future actually has a beautiful, deep meaning to it. So um, shout out Sean Kay if you're somehow watching this. But um, I-, I think I did God Don't Make Mistakes. On oh, this really? One, you were there? Fire. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what ends it up winning. So the winner of Best Album Title is... Soul Sold Separately really? by Freddie Gibbs. Oh, shit. What did you guys... Yeah, you guys wow. went with that. Oh, shit. I, I like okay. it. I like it. I like that. That it was, was in my mind. Like, the whole triple S thing, how it related back to the casino, the fact that it also relates to, like, three dollar signs. It was a cool concept, bro. It was a title. very cool concept. Yeah. Li- wow, that's crazy. I didn't vote for that. What did you vote for again? Um, I had voted for God Don't Make Mistakes. I was about my answer future, so we probably had... Yeah, the Soul Sold Separately ends up getting an award tonight. That's crazy. Yeah. That's great. It's yeah. actually... But it's a sick title though it is, it is a and it plays title, into the, absolutely but the, the next the category is going to be a big one it's best album cover of the year this is going to be an interesting because the nominations are drill music in zion by lupe fiasco mr morale and the big steppers by kendrick lamar vinyl days by logic and sold sold separately by freddie gibbs what did you vote for here what, for what best album cover yeah I'm not going to say it only once i get all right it. Well, once all we right. once you ended up having let's get back time. to some super chats everyone's saying cardi better um, I don't know. I don't think he had, I, I think he only had one nomination this year. Um, but let's keep on going with these super chats. Where are we at right now? We are now at Potato Man. Thank you so much, Potato Man, for pulling up tonight. And you said, got to put my name in the hat. Much love to you, boys. Much love to you. Hope you enjoy the stream tonight. Next up, we have Luke coming in. Appreciate you, Luke. You said, um, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers vinyl would be crazy. Yeah, it seems to be like the hot commodity tonight. Is that Mr. That's Morale? That's why we one. saved it for last. Everyone's gonna have a fair chance at winning that vinyl, and the way that we're actually doing it is that it's gonna get vinyl. Uh, like the vinyls are gonna get raffled off as we progress with the show. So, for example, now we're gonna be at our fifth category, if I'm not mistaken. After this category gets announced and the winner gets announced, we're actually gonna be um have we're gonna be announcing the winner for the future I Never Liked You vinyl, and then after 15, we end up doing Melt My Ice Your Future, and then after that, at 20, once the the award show is finished and at the end of the yeah. stream, we end up you know giving away and by the way we're putting um all your names into a randomizer and we are going to be contacting you guys through instagram if you are the winner so just dm us on ig if you did win and we'll be contacting you guys through there and we'll go through um how we're going to get it to you so that's going to be simple um next up though we have we have zog right now what's going on bro i hope you're doing well tonight thank you so much for pulling up and you said cheat codes and Joe Music and Zion, top five this year. You had them in your top five this year. Um, both of them cracked my list, but I believe I had them at the seven and eight position. So I was still close to you, and I do believe they're some of the greatest accomplishments of 2022 as far as albums go. But what's going on, Kano? Hope you're doing well. You've been entered into the raffle. Then we have Hunter. Hope you're doing well tonight. Thank you so much for coming in, uh, brother. And you said much love, boys. The Forever Story, definitely album of the year. Facts. Well, Lou has it as album of the year. I have it at number two. We'll see how that ages. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Toby, hope you're doing well tonight, brother. And you saw it, and you said, "Gotta get melt my eyes." See your wait, hold on. Gotta get melt my eyes. See your future album of the year. Also, y'all the goats. Thanks. We appreciate you, and thank you to everyone that's in the chat right now. We really appreciate you guys being here, and it's an awesome night. But Lou, you want to be next with up? This? We have Lawrence. Lawrence, thank you so much for the donation and for pulling up. You said first time watching live from Liverpool, England. That's awesome, bro. Much love. Appreciate everything you guys do. Much love. Much love to you. I mean, it's awesome to know that there's people from kind of every corner in the world that are watching and supporting us. So it means the world to us. And Happy New Year to you, Lawrence, and to everybody in the stream right now. Next up, we have Nenrif. Thank you so much for coming in. And you said, have you all seen a Godson vinyl at all? I don't know if uh, if there's a Godson vinyl. Have you seen one? I've never really seen one, but I mean, you could always check on Discogs. Discogs will tell you whether there's bootlegs or official presses that have been released, and um, they're always super reliable with Are it. Are there so, any Elmatic vinyls? Uh, we have one. I have one oh, in the studio. True, I, true, yeah, I got one in the studio. Yeah. Um, yes, so, I mean, go check it out. I, I mean, that's a vinyl I'd absolutely love to cop, but we'll see. Maybe one day they'll press it if yep. it's not already pressed. All but right. let's keep going Next on with this. Next up, we have Jack. Jack, thank you so much for the generous donation you said love you boys excited to see what's to come for the channel in 2023 uh, much love to you jack and if you've been watching for a while you can be you were able to see um how much we were able to kind of grow as a community over the last year and it's gonna be the exact same situation for 2023 we're gonna be doing so much more content that's diverse from anything else that we've done and yeah with you guys in our corner supporting the sky's the limit so thank you so much for the love um next up we have um 
Aryanch, I, be- I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much. You've been entered into the raffle. And then we have Aiden coming in hot. Thank you so much. And you said, love the content this year. Y'all put me on to a lot. Um, yeah, you know, that's kind of the goal of, uh, of what we do here is to kind of try to put you guys onto the best music possible. And if you're saying that we helped you out in that way, then that's a blessing to us for sure. But let's go on now back to the awards. What are we going And in? the results are the winner for best album cover. According to the community, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Hey, sheesh. Kendrick's Kendrick going to clean house tonight, bro. Is Kendrick going to keep... Oh, man. What did you vote for? What did you get? For best album cover, I had Vinyl Days. I had Vinyl Days as well, oh, bro. Shit. I had Vinyl Days. Yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, that, that, that like, little baby Bobby in the in the middle there. I had Vinyl Iconic. Days as my favorite album cover. Fantastic. But let's All see right. what the votes were. And the winner, the, were. the NFR winner for best album cover is... Wow. Ooh. Wow. What do we have? Drill Music in Zion by Lupe hey, Fiasco. Hey, there we go. Unexpected shout out, winner. Shout out, shout out to Lupe Fiasco. Yeah, it's a beautiful album cover, he though. He painted that himself, so that's pretty fucking impressive. That, 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 that definitely is earns crazy. points. That definitely does earn him points. But yeah, Lupe Fiasco accomplished a lot this year with Drill Music in Zion. Um, One of the best releases of the year, and... Man, I just I, I love what he brings to the table at, you know, such a such a cool, let's say, standpoint in his career right now. You know, yeah. like he's in a really nice place in his career right now where like he, he's respected as one of the best of all time when it comes to the new generation, when it comes to like lyricists all time, man. Like this guy's pen has been consistent. Um, it's been going forever. And wow, a lot of W's and a lot of L's. There we go. Yeah, let's a lot see of L's. The, oh, sheesh. This there the, we this go. This is the most polarizing winner, I think, up to this point. Um, I wouldn't have voted for it, but I mean, it's still a, it's still a great album cover. But next category, best trap album, and the nominations are DS Forever by Gunna, Heroes and Villains by Metro Boomin, Her Loss by Drake and 21 Savage, and Snowfall by Jeezy and DJ Drama. I mean, listen, bro, it hasn't been a great year for trap music. It hasn't been a great three years for trap music. But there were some big highlights. But there were some big fucking highlights. It was actually hard to crack a decision for this category. I think everyone's going to kind of vote for heroes and villains in our community. Like, I I know everyone. Like, that's what they're going to do. But what was your, where was your vote? Where was your vote at? I don't know. I think her loss is taking it tonight for sure. Um, I think her loss, yeah. Especially amongst the team, I'd be very surprised. A, a lot of the boys fucked with her loss this year, including me. I really did. But I will say this. If I had to redo my top 10, I would very much consider... Having heroes and villains there at number ten rather than her lost there at number okay, ten. Okay, so you voted for heroes and villains then? I I, I low key did. I swear. Okay. I did. I, okay. I sw- bro, it really did. Like it's aged super well with me. It's one of my most played albums of the final half of the year. Uh, realistically, like it's still one of my favorites. But and by the way, guys, after this category and winner becomes announced, we are going to be giving away the first vinyl of the night. Futures, I never liked you. And just a reminder for anybody that's pulling up right now. Much love to everybody that's here. Smash that like button to help get the stream to more hip-hop and music fans. And if you guys are new here also, we're giving away three vinyls through a raffle tonight. One super chat equals one entry into the raffle. Um, The dollar amount does not matter. And the more uh, super chats you send in, the more entries you have for the raffle. Um, Let's keep on going with some more super chats right here. Let's keep going on with this. I believe we are currently at, hold on, I believe it is, I think it's... Hey there, cool. Is it Hey There Cool? Yeah, we're at Hey There yes, Cool. It is Thank hey you cool. so much for coming in and donating tonight. Much love. And you said, love listening to this podcast in the background whenever I'm working on stuff. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the kind words. Uh, next up, we have Levi. You've been entered into the raffle. Thank you. Next up, we have Jose. You've also been entered into the raffle. And you said, favorite artist. Kendrick Lamar. Um, biggie for me. Um, next up, we have Tweed Dog Steve. Thank you so much, Tweed Dog, for pulling up. And you said, um, Ramstein is the best band in concert ever. I don't even know Ramstein. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not familiar you? with Ramstein. No, no, I'm not. Hold on a second. Let me. I, I hope he just didn't say something stupid. I, I feel. Hopefully, like we, we haven't been living under a fucking rock. We for I mean. sure have. Absolutely. Um. So is a German, uh, Dutch band, uh, formed in Berlin in 1994. Fire. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, I'll th- I'll give them a listen. And I, bl- yeah, looking at their live concerts, bro, this shit looks fucking crazy. Yeah, this would be sick. Mm. If you oh shit, look at their stage pieces. Hey, listen, you put me on the game tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. But Lou, keep going with this man. Okay. Next up, we have Mike. Mike, thank you so much for supporting us tonight. And you said, "Sup, boys. Sup to you. Excited for tonight. What's your guys' most anticipated album of 2023?" I mean, listen, Mike. We're actually doing a video on this exact topic, which is dropping next week. It's gonna be our first video of 2023. So I don't want to give too much away, but um. 
Baby Keem is really high up there for me. I really want to see what he comes with. I want to see what you? Baby Keem does this year. Absolutely. And even D2X. Shout out to my boy D2X. I mean, um, he's on a fantastic run, weight, run right now. And I think he's one of my favorite artists right now. In me the too. Um, so. Listen to uh, Understand, if you guys haven't, by D2X. Amazing single from this year. But next up, we have Dylan once again. Appreciate the commitment and the dedication, Dylan. And you said, I need the, fan- the Fantano collab. We'll see what yeah, happens. We'll who knows? See, we'll see what happens in 2023, maybe. Yeah. Next up, we have Maddie. Maddie, thank you so much for being here tonight. You've been entered into the raffle. After that, we have Jackson M. Once again, Jackson, we appreciate you. And you said, Nick, give me that vinyl, please. Does Nick want to come and say hi, bro? Does Nick want to come say what's up at the final award show? Come through, bro. Come through. Switch it on me and come through the camera, man. Let's see what Nick's up. If it wasn't for Nick, man, this show wouldn't be possible, bro. Everyone drop W's <laughs> to Nick. Absolutely. Wait, here you go. Let me say the giveaway winner. At the I, I, yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's I never liked you. Hold there we on. go. So the winner of the I never liked you vinyl. I have it written down. Hold on. Jack Maxwell, you're the winner. Hey, of the shout out you Jack vinyl. Maxwell. Shout out to you. DM us on Instagram and we'll get all the details sent your way. That's awesome. And thank you from Nick and the whole NFR team for participating in tonight. But that is our first vinyl giveaway. We got two more in store. Melt My Eyes to Your Future is going, is going to be given away at number 15 for categories. And Miss Moral and the Big Steppers at number 20 once the live stream is done. Blue, you want to continue with some super chats? Um, let's actually go into the Best Trap album. Okay, let's announce Over that. 843 votes. Shout out to everybody who's in this fucking stream. What an event we have on our hands tonight. And it's all thanks to you guys for being here. Um, the winner is Heroes and Villains by a big fat margin. <laughs> 70% of there votes. There we go. Heroes and Villains, 24% her loss. I voted for her loss. I think her loss is the better album. There we go. All right. Let's see what the community, well, we know what the community said. Let's see what we were saying. Best trap album of 2022. What do we got? No surprise here. From the whole team, eh? Her loss by Drake and 21 Savage has won best trap album. You can flood those L's in the comments. I know they're about to come, but it's okay. They did their thing, bro. They definitely did their thing. It's one of the greatest accomplishments of 2022 when it comes to replay value, bro. bro. Like, realistically, that album has been in my rotation all year. Um, I'm still bumping it now, and I have so many crazy fucking songs off that album in my rotation. But, um, okay, Lou, explain them the voting of the team. If anyone's not, like, you know, let's say an understanding of how we did this Yeah, tonight. so the way that we actually did this is that, you know, we put together 20 categories of just, you know, certain ones that we think are the most talked about conversations of the year. We ended up choosing um, four nominees for each one. And we kind of did that for you guys so that you guys could vote for that in a poll because you can't put more than four options in a poll. So we tried to, uh, you know, make sure that it was catered to you guys. So four nominees and the entire team has voted. So um, I think that we're, we're five people that ended up voting. So it was you, it was I, it was Nick, Mark, and Fajet. And uh, yeah, I'm curious to know what they voted on exactly for each one. I know, I know Fajet probably put in Heroes and Villains for sure. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We did. Nick and Nick and Nick Mark, and Mark for, for sure her, her loss. loss. And what about you? What did you get? I did her loss. As hey, well. okay, so it was probably a three-two voting on that yeah, one. But that was a close call. Uh, actually, polarizing chat once again. A bunch of W's and a bunch of L's. At least we know that though, it narrowed down to those two albums for the year. Absolutely. Two of the biggest moments in trap music were from Drake and Metro Boomin and Twenty One Savage. Um, but let's keep going on with this, bro. We going yes, to the super chat. Keep chats? on going with the super chat. Still two vinyls to give away. Let's see where we're at right here. Where are we at, bro? Did you get it? I'm scrolling it up. Favorite artist? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I believe we are currently at... Um, okay, we're at Joshua right now because we just answered Jackson. I appreciate you, bro, too. What's going on, Joshua? Thank you so much for another um, raffle entry. Um, you have been entered once again, and you said Rocky or Travis to drop first in 2023. I think Rocky. I think we see I Rocky I think Rocky first. comes first. I think he comes um, probably first <laughs> quarter or the beginning of the second quarter, and then Travis, spring or summertime. Yeah, I That'd agree with you. Guess. But let's keep going on with something. Go on to Nad. You have been entered once again as well. And you said Sims should be nominated, but maybe drop too late. Yeah. She did drop too late. But, I mean, she would definitely be in consideration. Yeah, it's just hard to digest an album that soon. Absolutely. I think it is that. But let's keep going on with something. Go on to Nathan O'Connor. You have been entered once again, brother. And you said, and if our award show this morning, then tonight, I'm going to see Denzel Curry, Kate Trinata, Young Lean, Mike Fuck. Dimes. Uh, at a festival. How good. That's fire. And actually, I was talking to Mike Dimes about this exact festival. He's going to Australia right now. Mike Dimes is doing absolutely crazy things. And um, we actually just dropped like a mini interview with him. Like we were just interviewing people at, you know, since the 80s camp on our Twitter. So if you guys want to go check that out after the stream, please go ahead to our Twitter. But let me go on to Leonardo. 
We appreciate you, bro. And you said, guys, don't riz up my mom like that, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if that's a sentiment, but I say hi to your mom. But we appreciate you. Let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to the next one. We have AJ Taylor, another big member of the community. Thank you so much for coming through tonight, bro. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for always coming into these live chats. Um, you have been doing so much for the engagement of the community, driving conversation, and um, helping us discover new music. And you said, hey there, guys. Just cobbed new vinyls this week. Ludacris' is Chicken and Beer, Nelly's Nashville. Um, Nellyville. Nellyville. Nellyville, excuse me, and T.I.'s Paper Trail. Fantastic cops, bro. I Some really Southern classics Southern in there, classics, AJ. I love to see wax. it, bro. Um, all right, let's keep going on with this. Let me go into TPX. I hope you're doing well tonight, bro. And you said love you guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and your family. Let me go on to Bojan. I hope you're doing well tonight. And you said Team Low Baby. Listen, you got nominated this year, so we'll see what happens. He did get nominated, so we'll end up. Uh, we'll, we'll see how the results go tonight. But let's go into next up. I hope you're doing well. Let's go on to the New York Hip Hop Stunt. Alex and Sebastian, you have all been entered into the chat and also controversy. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Silence PP7, one of the biggest OGs in the community. What's going on, bro? And you said, gentlemen, looking great. Happy holidays. Was looking forward to this one. Let's go. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, PP7. You've been around for Absolutely. the longest time. We appreciate you sticking with us. Um, next up, we have Jimmy the Gimmick. Thank you so much for being here and for donating. And you said, immaculate vibes tonight, fellas. Yes, it is. Thanks to all of you guys. Shout out to the hardest working hip hop channel on YouTube. Here's hoping to win. Mel My Eyes See Your Future. That's coming soon, guys. Mel My Eyes See Your Future will be given away um, in not too long from now. But Let next up, Philip Lewandowski. I, 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 we, we skipped over Alex. I no, I, Jimmy and Philip were first. You, you had jumped one. Oh, my bad. Okay, my bad. Go yeah. for it then, Luke. Next up, we have Philip. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And you said, we need a recount for best trap album. Heroes and Villains is goaded. Um, I think it's great. Um, I just feel like there were certain creative choices in the curation that weren't fantastic in terms of like, you know, having a feature slide in just for 20 seconds or maybe, um, you know, putting 21 Savage next to who was there and walk him down. What was the name of that artist? Was uh, it Mustafa? I believe it was Mustafa. I think, yeah, I don't think that they really clicked and meshed that well. So those kind of creative choices made me have it below her loss. Um, so you, we have okay. Because I didn't see Philip underneath us. Are we at Philip or Al Alex now? We're now we, at Alex. We're now at Alex now. Yeah. But let's announce the next category before we go on with this. Absolutely. So let's go to this poll on YouTube right here. <coughs> what are we saying? I don't know. Oh, we, we did, actually we, didn't we, even. No, no, oh, we oh, didn't shit. announce it. No, no, no. We had skipped over. All right. Next up, we have best intro track, and the nominees are. This is a very stacked category, and I feel like any one of these tracks is deserving. United in Grief by Kendrick Lamar. Melt Session Number One by Denzel Curry, Rich Flex by Drake and Twenty One Savage, and Johnny P's Caddy by Benny the Butcher featuring J Cole. Fire! Yeah. What did you get? Come yeah. on, bro. You know what I have. <laughs> yeah, I have the. Like exact the community thing. knows. What <laughs> there we go. We don't even gotta speak. No, on we don't that. have to. You've, um, uh, yeah, we did a we did a lot for Johnny P's Caddy, bro. That that was easily one of the best moments of the year as well. That was. And easily it might not the, even win. I don't think it's gonna it's win. It's not gonna win. It? Oh, is it gonna win tonight? <laughs> United in Grief is going to win. Sheesh. Is it actually? Kendrick's gonna oh, no, 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 no. Look at Johnny P's caddy. Oh, shit. Oh, He's shit. Climbing. Okay, there He's we go. Climbing. There Johnny P's caddy is going to. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. <laughs> Johnny P's caddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's 3230. No. There we go. No, come on. Let's go. Let's come go. On, Let Johnny P. Oh, my God. <laughs> One more. Here we go. Johnny P's caddy is getting some room on this, but listen, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh, shit. It's going to be. Uh, it's it seems like it's thing. Oh my it's god! Neck 31. and neck. But in it the meantime, neck neck. let's go back to these super chats and see what you guys are saying. Shout out! Um, did we go through Alex? We did not. No, we ended off with Alex. Alex, thank you so much for being here and supporting. You said top of the evening, fellas. Happy future New Year's. Happy New Year's to you as well and your family. Um, hope you enjoy the holidays. Um, next up, we have Kobe Cole once again, and you said I'm trying to go back to back years winning vinyls. Keep sending them in, brother. It only hires your chances, and we really appreciate how much you're supporting. Johnny Peace Caddy is officially taking the lead. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Best intro track, 32%. <laughs> I'm telling you, let me go into sports commentating, guys. All right, keep going, Lou. What do you got? All right, next up we have, where are we at? Sebastian Lopez, you've been entered into the raffle. Thank you so much. Next up, we have YKTS Culture, Vivo, a massive OG. And, bro, thank you so much just for being around so much. We see you in these live streams. We see you always in the album reactions, and it truly does mean the world to us. And speaking of the album reactions, we are reacting live album. Sorry, we are reacting live tonight to Snoop Dogg and DJ Dramas. I still, is it, I still got it. Yeah, I still, I still got it by Snoop Dogg. 
That's going down on the Patreon. Link available in the description to this live stream. If you guys do want to bump that album with us, it's always a great experience. Um, but next up, we have Controversy. Thank you so much. Um, you've been entered into the raffle. Next up, we have Jesse. You've also been entered into the raffle. Much love to you. And you said, Happy New Year's, guys. Here's to a fire 2023. Thank you so much, Jesse. And we wish you the same. Next up, we have Dozer. Dozer, thank you so much for being here. And you said, love your guys' content. Hoping for the Kendrick vinyl. Um, I wish you the best of luck, Dozer. And thank you so much for being here. Ant, you want to keep going? Um, hold on a second. I just, because I lost it on the... Oh, okay, I believe we're at Luke, right? Yeah. What's going on, Luke? I hope you're doing well tonight, brother. Thank you so much for pulling up. And you have been entered into the raffle. And you said, thanks for being the best YouTubers this year. Watched almost all of your vids. Great to see your success escalating even more. Kendrick or Jib, Jid, an album of the year conversation, in my opinion. Appreciate you so much, bro. And those are perfectly valid choices for this year. Some of the best records that have been released within 2022. But what's going on, Luke? What's going on, Taco Lord? What's going on, Devilish? What's going on, Aiden? You guys have all been entered in tonight's raffle. But let me keep going on with this. Let's go on to Kyle. Hope you're doing well tonight. And you said, what's the drink of choice for tonight, boys? We got some Bum banana bamboo, guys. There we go. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's considered bum like... Because the thing with bamboo is that it's not officially like a rum. It's a 39% liquor. So, like, you can't consider it rum, but it has a crazy fucking banana taste to it, yeah. bro. It's infused, and I believe it's from the Barbados or the Bahamas, bro. Uh, for Barbados? Where, where, I th I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where it's from, mm. but um, it's from the Caribbean. It's a fantastic rum. Um, and, yeah, it was our drink of choice for tonight. Even if like, you, you kind of lick, lick your lips after drinking, you have that taste of the banana. It's awesome. Um, but next up, we have Tackle Lord, which you actually mentioned controversy once again thank you so much and you said kd3 or mr morale and the big steppers for album of the year um i think that kid kings of these three is the better album and that's what i had uh, higher on my album of the year list i think you had mr morale a bit higher right? yes i did i did i had it at number three and i had kd3 at number five those yeah. are my choices for this year uh, but keep going Lou. what do we go next? next up we have no scar thank you so much for being here and supporting and you said if i win the vinyl i'll give it to someone else because i don't have a record player all for the community that's so generous and humbling, bro. Thank you so much um, for being a team player. You said, by the way, JIT album of the year. And by the way, no scar. If you want to just kind of keep it as a collection, you don't have to, you know, actually bump the music. It could be cool just to just to have as physical media. You know, it's, it's kind of cool to build a collection. Um, but let's go on to the poll. Is it official? And it's official. Um, Johnny Peace Caddy <laughs> has won with 31% of the votes. No, it's a tie now. Is it a tie? Oh, fuck. We have a tie within the community. Wow. United in grief, 30%. Johnny Peace Candy, another 30. Very interesting tonight. Well, they're both fantastic intro tracks. I cannot be mad at that. But, Lou, what is our intro track of the year? NFR's best intro track of 2022. Wow. What is it? It's United in Grief ah, by Kendrick there Lamar. We go. The team went the for The boys that. were sleeping on this one. <laughs> no, it was definitely Johnny Peace Caddy's boys. It Jeez. was 100% Johnny Peace Caddy. I'm disappointed, guys. Sheesh. I was hoping for that one as well. But, Lou, go to the next category, bro. What do we got? The tonight? next one is going to be an interesting one because no one really gives awards out for this category, but I feel like they should. It's the best rollout of the year. And the nominees are Metro Boomin's Heroes and Villains, Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Yes, sir. Her Loss by Drake and 21 Savage. And Melt My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry. Any snubs here in the nominations? No, I think they were all fantastic rollouts. Well, I mean, like, Don FM could have been entered into the conversation, but it wasn't even that big of a rollout, and it's not really rap, so I wouldn't put it there. But, yeah, I think it's all super solid for this year, What's you know, at least. But where are we at with the Super Chats, bro? What do we got? Let's go and check it out. What do we... Let's what see what we we're here? saying. Um... I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. Had, had we, we had done Kyle. Finals. We had done controversy. We had done no scar. We are now at loop 36. Thank you so much for being here and supporting. You said NFR award show is better than the Grammys. You said it, not me, bro. So thank you for that. That's a that's an awesome compliment. Next up, we have Ty Smith. Appreciate you. And you said, been watching since late 2020. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Ty. Honestly, like knowing that you guys have been rocking with us for so much time. It means the world to us. And for anybody who's even a new fan, we love you the same. Thank you so much for being here tonight and for rocking with us. Next up, we have Luke to Bone. Um, thank you so much. And you said, just cop the Forever Story vinyl. That's a big W, bro. I mean, album of the year in my eyes. And we were actually considering putting it in as one of the albums to give away tonight. Next up, though, we have Jehu. Thank you so much. 
Um, I hope that I pronounce. Oh, you said pronounce Jehu. All right, thank you, Jehu. You said just wanting to say y'all the best source for music news, highest quality videos. I dressed up as well for this, feeling elegant. Hey, hey fun. send us a picture through, bro. <laughs> I appreciate I want to see that. You're thank you, Jehu. Tonight, we bro. appreciate you. But let's keep going on. Let me go on to Sebastian. Hope you're doing well tonight, brother. Um, we appreciate you, and you've been entered into the raffle. And you said I love y'all so much. We love you back. Let me go on to um. Ezak, let me go on to Aiden Cooper, Bob Does Music, Laclan, Trevor, and Zook. You guys have all been entered um, in tonight's give and tonight's giveaway for I believe we're at now my eyes your future. Yeah, we are at Mel, my eyes your future. And then at the end of the stream, we are going to be giving away Miss Mel and the Big Steppers, and as well as you, the New York Hip Hop Spot. But um, let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Dylan Hickey. Thank you so much for another super chat. You have been entered once again, and you said I've been waiting to be crowned an OG. Haha, <laughs> let's go. We appreciate you. Thank you so much <laughs> uh, for supporting us over the past year. Um, really means a lot to us. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Dylan. Thank you so much for another super chat. You have been entered into the raffle. And you said going uh, for either Kendrick or Denzel. Listen, they're coming up very soon, so we'll see what happens. But you have been entered. Let me go on to AF Sesk. Hope you're doing well tonight. We appreciate you. You have been entered into the raffle. And you said Mr. Morale for Album of the Year. Saw Kendrick live goat. He's a fantastic live performer, and I have seen him live Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Shout out to Zuka, Wuka, Trev. Um, I did those. I did those. You had done Tackle Lord as well? Oh, I did not do Taco Lord. My uh, bad. Taco Lord, Bob Does Music, Copper Dalton, Trev. Um, you guys have all been entered into the raffle. Let's keep on going with this. Shout out to Luke Larson. Says, go Habs. How, how are the Habs doing as of right now? We're on a bit of a losing streak, but that's yeah. okay. We're tanking. That's not a problem. I want a nice high, I want a nice high like draft pick this year, so we'll see what happens. Still a super Fodder. young team. If anyone has the, the score for the for the Panthers game and the Montreal game, please drop it in the chat. <laughs> I'm trying to know what's going on with that game, but let's All keep right. going Next with this. Next up, we have Philip Lewandowski again. You're going hard in the paint, Philip. I respect it. Thank you. And you said looking fresh tonight, boys. Is the entire NFR team all dressed up? No, the boys got joggers on. Yeah, right we, we all got joggers and uh, hoodies and shit, so it's, it's chill, you know? No um, next up, Connor OG. Thank you so much, bro. Massive OG. Um, he's done so much to help out the brand overall. And uh, we wish you the best, bro. And um, happy new year to you, brother. You've been entered into the raffle. Next up, we have Luca Milan. Um, thank you so much. Donating from Europe, maybe from Italy. Much love to you. And you said, uh, tuned in from Venice, Italy. Love to you guys. Grazie mille, Luca. Appreciate you, bro. And we hope that you enjoy the stream. Next up, we have Kyle. Once again. Thank you so much, Kyle. You said, boys, I copped six new vinyls since without warning live stream, <laughs> LOL. You boys got to see my doggy style and limited edition Mel My Eyes See Your Future vinyls I put in the Discord. Fire. I'm definitely going to check those out, Kyle. That's awesome. Is that limited edition, this one that we have? It is. It's from Urban Outfitters. It's the blue disc as Fire. well. Um, I got one for Christmas, but let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Zach. Hope you're doing well tonight. You have been entered into the raffle. He said, well done on a great year, boys. Love from Ireland. Love from Canada. Appreciate you. Let's go on to Sean. You have been entered into the raffle as well, and you said, Ayo, much love to you guys. Um, happy New Year. Keep up the sick content. We appreciate you so much, Sean. Thank you for, for the support, and you have been entered in tonight's raffle. Let me go on to Marco. You have been entered into the raffle, brother, and you said, Love you, boys. Much love. Appreciate you so much, Marco. Thank you um, for, a one, for a wonderful year, and you are one of the biggest OGs in the community. But, Lou, let's go back to the award show, bro. What Absolutely. do we got going on? Heroes and Villains wins. Best Four. rollout from the community. I disagree. Mr. Ron, the Big Steppers. No. What did you Not have? Not for me. I had her loss. What? I thought it was the most, no! the most creative fucking rollout of the entire year. All those fake promotions, the fake interviews. That was genius, Which bro. album were you more no hyped up for? No one's done that. Which album were you more hyped up for? I don't care about but that, I, bro. Uh, it was a return after what five years. What do you mean? Years. What do you mean? That's not the only bro, the thing that website, goes into a rollout, bro. The website, bro. the picture of the double album. Come on, bro. It was Her a massive rollout. Her loss had the best rollout, I but disagree. I think Mr. Morale is going to take it, but let's see. NFR's winner for best rollout of 2022. I think Kendrick's just going to sweep, bro. What are we going to... It is Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, um, come on, bro. It's it was a good rollout. It, it was, was a good. good it was a good rollout. The hard part five <laughs> added a lot to that fucking rollout, bro. It, it had, he had the best single of the year. Who had a better, a better single? It, it was than that? the best single of the year. So oh, I'm, well, I, I can't walking. be mad at that. No, walking is the best. Single Actually, yeah, walking. Walking is. The but best you could say the hard part five, and I wouldn't be mad at that, um, without a doubt. All right, let's go on to the next category, bro. Next category is best collaboration of 2022. And this was actually hard to choose some noms for, but the nominees are Feel the Fire by Metro Boom and ASAP Rocky and Takeoff, Savior by Kendrick Lamar, Baby Keem, and Sam Du. The Highs and the Lows by Chance the Rapper and Joey Badass. And Breath Control by Logic and Wiz Khalifa. I will now give you guys a chance to vote while we go back into these Super Chats. 
All right, keep going with it. Do you have it? Do you have it in front of you? Let's see where we're at here. Yes, we do. We did Zach Duffy. We did Zach Duffy. Yeah, we're but now at Sean Summer no, Bell. No, we're at uh, yeah. we're Laclan, up uh, up top. No, we're at, we're at, we're at no, Sean I, Summer No, I ended Bell. off with Marco tonight. Oh, you had done Marco. I had done All Marco right. right up top. So it's Laclan. Hope you're doing well tonight, brother. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight. And you said, looking sick, boys. Appreciate you too much. Appreciate you so much, bro. Thank you for coming in tonight. Then we have um, SSS getting a W. Absolutely fuck, boy. And you have been entered into the giveaway tonight. But let's keep going on with this. Let's go on to Columbia. Um, hope you're doing well tonight. Hope I pronounced that right. And you have been entered into the raffle. Baloo, do you want to go on to the... To the next, uh, to the next nominations. We had, we already, we just did them right now. Are you sure? Best collaboration, yeah. Oh, um, there we go. We have that up. My next bad. up, <laughs> we have Trev. Thank you so much for coming in tonight and supporting. And you said, "I'm a Jid meat rider." TMI, bro. Um, so I have him winning everything. Going to see him perform in March. Can't wait. Keep up the good work and best of luck in 2023. Um, yeah, Jid and Samino on tour. If you guys didn't know, definitely, um, you know, see them live. They're both great live performers. We had the the honor of seeing Jid live in Montreal and one of my favorite concerts that I've been to. So um, much love to you, Trev. Thank you. Next up, Lauren, once again, shout out to you, brother. We appreciate you. And you said, rest in peace to Pelly. lost a legend today. Yeah, bro. when it comes to the world of football, I mean, the entire football world is mourning with the loss of Pelly. Um, lived a very long and accomplished life, lived to the age of 82. And, um, you know, he cemented in the history books and is arguably the greatest player to ever kick a football. So shout out to Pele. Absolutely. Let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Piñata. Hope you're doing well tonight, brother. A big OG in the community and you have been entered into the raffle. And by the way, I'm going to stop saying that. Like anyone, anyone super chat that I read tonight, you guys have been automatically entered yeah. into the raffle. So don't worry about it. Hi from the UK. It's 1 a.m. here. Ha ha ha. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight, even at such a late time. And uh, guys, listen, if you are enjoying the live stream right now, smash that like button. What a fucking turnout tonight. Yes, sir. It has been absolutely incredible to witness all the community come together for a very special night um we hope to be doing this till the time the podcast closes one day and uh man it's fucking crazy to see everyone that pulled up tonight really we love you guys but let me keep going on with this let me go on to craig hope you're doing well tonight brother you have been entered into the raffle shish i just said i wouldn't say that you see like you kind of like because you, you say it so many times it, you, you say so many times and then after that it goes on to the next one he said love the content guys thanks for all the great content this year forever story for album of the year we appreciate you bro thank you so much for pulling up and yes absolutely it could be considered as album of the year but let me go on to aiden taco lord shrimp and shrimp once again you guys have all been entered into the raffle let me go on to budley hope you're doing well tonight brother thank you so much for the generous donation and he said happy new year's lads thanks for making such an for, thank you for making such incredible content hip-hop in 2022 would have never been the same without y'all forever story arrived on vinyl today my album of the year nfr pharrell keep up the good vids we really appreciate that super chat budley thank you so much for pulling up tonight um your support means the world and Thank you. We really do much appreciate love. you. Um, next up, we have Jose. Thank you so much. And you said, saludos de Mexico. Thank you so much, Jose. Cheers to you. Happy New Year. Um, next up, we have Shrimp. Once again, you've been entered. Shout out to Harvey Justice. We appreciate you, Harvey. And you said, lots of love from UK. Lots of love from Montreal, Canada. Jid MVP this year for sure. That's a big W, bro. I mean, Jid killed everything. The home remix from Mike Dimes. The Forever Story. Everything he did on D-Day. Like... He just, he didn't miss a single time, bro. No, he didn't year. miss a single time. So, listen, we'll see what happens. But, Lou, I fucked up the Super Chats again. It got, Marco it got, uh, won. Fucked. Thank you so much. You said, fits go hard as fuck. Appreciate that, bro. We appreciate, appreciate you. that. Next up, Tyler. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. You said, y'all are my main source for music. Much love. That's awesome. I mean, um, at the end of the day, we're just two friends talking hip-hop and um, talking with you guys, too, throughout the community. And um, we learn a lot from you guys as well. So, um, just thank you for being part of the community, Tyler. Next up, Notrox, you've been entered. Thank you. Romel, thank you so much. Garrison, appreciate you, brother. You said second straight year in the live stream. Found y'all when looking for an album review. Love the work. Love from ATL. Shout out to you, Garrison. And we actually were just in ATL. Beautiful city. Much love to you. Next up, Lil Boat. The GOAT. Another year in the bag. Well done, boys. Thank you so much, Lil Boat. Um... 2023 is going to be even better, baby. Can't wait for that one. Um, but let's now go back to this um, this uh, Best Collaboration Award. And you guys made the right choice this time. Feel the fire. Take off ASAP Rocky Metro. This got my vote as well. What about uh, I you? got the highs and the lows this year for the Best collaboration, album, uh, collaboration Song. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But that is officially um, the community winner for this year. But Lou will now be announcing NFR's award 
for the best collab song of and the year. And NFR's best collaboration of 2022. Wow. Didn't see this one coming. It's Breath Control by Logic hey, and there Wiz we Khalifa. Go. Fire song. Oh, I love to see it, bro. I love this track. I do love this track. Crazy. Who voted for that, bro? That's that's. Re- I wonder. Big W's to was. whoever did, bro. It was one of the best collaborations. For yeah, sure. I mean the fact that like Logic brought back like a kind of a sample from Kush and OJ, and then had Wiz Khalifa rapping over it, like. It was fucking perfect, bro. One of my favorite songs of the entire year. One of my most played songs of the year. So, love to see it, but I still think Feel the Fire should have taken that one. But the next category is for Best Posse Cut. Another category that does not get enough love from mainstream media. But we now have ETA by Dr. Dre featuring Snoop Dogg, Anderson Pock, and Busta Rhymes. We have Ain't No Way by Denzel Curry featuring Rico Nasty, Jid, and Black. Excuse me. We have Stick by J.I.D.J. Cole, Kenny Mason, and Sheck Wes. And we have Science Class by West Side Gun featuring Busta Rhymes, Ghostface Killer, Raekwon, and Stove God Cooks. Very interesting category, bro. I know what I voted for. I voted for ETA. Among I voted for ETA as okay, well. Okay, thank God. I voted for ETA as well. I still don't think it's going to be the winner, though. I don't think it's going to be the winner. I think Unless, the boys win We'll, we'll see what direction. happens. We'll see what happens. But yeah. okay, I can continue with this. Let's go on to its magnitude. I hope you're doing well tonight, brother. Thank you so much for pulling up. And you said, Lupe is the most disrespected and underrated rapper of all time. Top 10 hip-hop rapper ever. Glad you boys gave Lupe his flowers. We appreciate you. And listen, we've been listening to Lupe Fiasco for a very long time. So he definitely deserves his flowers. But let me go on to save one of the biggest OGs in the community. Thank you so much pulling up tonight brother and you said hey boys how's it going couldn't miss this more water and more smiling next year hopefully always smiling always trying to be more positive and more prosperous for the new year thank you so much safe for the love over the years we really appreciate you one of the biggest ogs in the community much love safe absolutely but let me go on to sebastian josh tall Laclan again and then after that rob you guys have all been entered into these uh into the raffle tonight for milk my is your future and also mr mom the big steppers those are the two albums left tonight and we're coming close actually lou count on me categories we went through so we just keep track of that Absolutely. and then um also aiden you said w thank you so much bro but let me go on to dylan very big question here hot pepper slash chip videos coming back anytime soon i think we're gonna leave that back in 2022 guys i'm gonna be honest with you guys i know it was a fan favorite but like Man, it fucking sucked. Like it actually, <laughs> it, it, it sucks having to like fucking eat one of those peppers and like you, you're 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 literally damaging your body. That's I mean, legit what you're doing. I, it's really I, not good. I, I've told you some of you guys this in the past. I, I was legit yakking. I mean, that's the point that it came down to. So it is pretty deep. So I don't think we're gonna have more of those in the future. But um, they were fun, bro. While they lasted, I'll say that they were very fun. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, oh shit, Stick is doing some numbers right really? now. That Stick is doing some crazy. That'd be the numbers. bottom of what I would vote for. Stick is going crazy right now. Yeah, because people just love the hype of that. That song gives off, you know. Absolutely, I've seen it performed live, and it's actually pretty crazy to witness. It does yeah, have a same. triumph and energy to it. So let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Joe Sweeney, one of the biggest OGs in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight, brother. And you said W content, love the suits. Thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate you. Let me go on to Ziog once again. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, bro. And you said also wanted to say thank you for everything y'all do. I look forward to your guys' vids, and thank you for saving my life. Much love. Hey, listen, um, that means a lot to us, and uh, you know. For, for anyone that's going through tough times or anyone that's going through a rough stretch, just know that it's normal. Um, just know, know that, you know, I, I go through those same rough stretches. Lou goes through them. The whole team goes through them. Um, everyone you know goes through them. Um, anyone that says otherwise is lying to you. And I feel like once you start to understand that and you understand that, you know, it's always going to be uphill and that, you know, sometimes you're going to have your days everything does get better so guys be optimistic for the new year the way you start off your year is the way that you'll end it so start off super positive and everything will be all right and guys if there's ever anything you know and, you guys could yeah us. And, and that was a beautiful message uh Z Oak. thank you so much for being here tonight and just for um you know putting a smile on our faces we hope that we've done the same for you and like Ant said if you guys ever want to reach out about anything to either Ant and i our dms are open much love to the entire community um next up we have another massive og and it's big boy specter shout out to specter you came in tonight and you said much love guys was nice to be able to drop in and yes we did give a studio tour to specter who ended up pulling up to montreal and um what a great guy bro honestly specter's a great kid absolutely
absolutely like loki like a prodigy realistically he is a prodigy. At, at his he age is. like just understand the amount of work that specter puts into his youtube channel literally one of the most talented kids um on youtube right now and much love to you and your family specter i hope you guys had a safe ride home and happy new year to you your father your mother and also your sister much let's love, keep specter. going on with this let me go on to ian hope you're doing well tonight well i believe no laclan it's again my bad let me go on to laclan hope you're doing well and you said what's your worst album cover of 2022 what was a really I'll bad say the one. cheesiest one was God did. The cheesiest one was God. God did, did was pretty bad. Um, I'm trying to think, 2022, bad album covers. What do you got? Anything um, whatsoever. 7220 wasn't that nice of a cover. 7220 wasn't all that nice. No. All right, but we officially have the voting for the best posse cut. Hold on, my things, my things glitching right now, bro. Um, yeah. So number one, 45 percent for stick. That is the winner from the community. Um, it kind of gets annoying, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. You think so? I got a no stick. Stick, 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 stick. Like, come on, man. The beat's fire as fuck, I bro. know. I know. All right, All right best, cut, best posse cut. NFR's winner. It brings me joy to present the winner. It is ETA by Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Anderson Pack, and more. What a fucking song, bro. Like, I was telling you this, and you were kind of looking at me sideways the other time, but like, if Dre was to put out Detox or like, you know, fucking Chronic 2023, this song should be on it, bro. You think That's so? That's how strongly I feel about it. It is a fantastic song, but you really do Such feel like... Such a vibe. You, yeah, you really that back like and that? forth between Dre and Anderson, come on. It is fantastic. Come it on. definitely is fantastic. But all right, we keep going on Next with this category point. is Best Freestyle of 2022. And the nominees are... By the way, guys... Um, I know so many of you guys are sending super chats, and we will get to all of them. Do not worry. By the end of the stream, they will all be answered. And, of course, every super chat equals one entry into our raffle. And we are raffling off Mel My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry next in a couple of rounds. And by the end of the award ceremony, we are raffling off Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar. But let's keep on going. The next category is Best Freestyle. The nominees are Sci High the Prince on LA Leakers. We have Corday on LA Leakers, we have Absol on LA Leakers, and we have Rome Streets on Sway's Universe. All fucking fire. What bro. did you pick? I went with Sci High the Prince on LA Leakers. Oh, that's fantastic. I went with Rome Streets, bro. Rome Streets, that Rome Streets Yeah, that Rome Streets freestyle was absolutely gross. But let me keep going on with some super chats tonight, guys. Let me go on to Lazonia and another big OG in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight. You have been entered into the raffle. He said, been rocking with you guys for a while, and the growth has been amazing. Love everyone at NFR, and I'm so excited for 2023, including the Melon collab, LMAO. Um, listen, we'll see if it happens in 2023. He's a great guy, and we'd love to do it. So we'll see what, it's, what ends up happening for the new year. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Colby Cole once again. He said, Met Metro Heroes and Villains, Trap Album of the Year, no doubts. Um, I agree with you. That's what I voted for. Let's go on to M Stats. Um, Sats, excuse me. Hope you're doing well tonight. Um, you have been entered into the raffle. And you said love from the Netherlands. Um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and love from Canada. Um, Sebastian, uh, Malaki, Malik. And then after that, Shrimp, you guys have all been entered in tonight's raffle. Then we have Rob. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. We appreciate you. And you said thank you guys for this year. It's been a bless. Um, thank you so much. You being here and a part of the community is a blessing. And we appreciate you. Thank you for coming in tonight. But let me go on to Sebastian. Hope you're doing well tonight. And you said this podcast saved my life. Another one. Sheesh, this is crazy. I mean, um, you know, even even for me, I mean, you guys have given me a lot of moral support over the past year. Just um, being able to do this every week, being able to be engaged in the project like you guys realistically changed my life. And um, I think I could speak for everyone in the room right now yeah. as well. So um, it goes both ways. I, I hope that, you know, this community keeps building and we continue getting better and better each and every single year. Um, going through new albums, better understanding in music, um, more content that we give to you guys like. It's really been a blessed year. Thank you. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, a lot of positivity here tonight. We love all of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, next up, we have Malaki, who's been entered. Lazonia, shout out to you, brother. Big OG. And you said WFR, WFR, um, W to you, Lazonia. Appreciate you, bro. Um, Malik, you've been entered. DJ, DJ, you've been entered. And you said, check out Denzel Curry covering Bulls on Parade. I have seen that, DJ, DJ. I've been on that. And... Um, Based on that, I said that Denzel Curry could do a full metal album, and Adam disagrees with me. 
I don't know why he does. I don't think he could do a full metal. He could album. do a full fucking metal. I feel like album. I he got a bit. I think he could do whatever he wants. I mean, he's a talented artist. But if you had to ask me the best route for him, it definitely wouldn't be metal. Be a great I don't choice. I, I, he's been doing on it. That though, performance he, alone on something been like doing Black doing Metal it, Terrorist, bro. He's proved he's been that doing he has it, you know? that aggression and he has those vocal chops to pull it off. But next up, we have Shrimp. Thank you. You've been uh, entered. And then we have Alexa. Thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate you. And you said, greetings from Serbia, bros. Best music podcast. Um, shout out to Serbia. Much love from Canada. Thank you, bro. Next up, Controversy. You guys are amazing. Excited for 2023 content. Yeah, it's going to be cool, guys. A lot of um, festival content is going to be happening. A lot of new series is coming your guys' way. Us getting out of our elements. So stay tuned for all of that. It's going to be an awesome year. Um, and do you want to take the next one? Let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Justice. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. And you said much love to everyone in the show from Finland. Yeah, much love to everyone that's in the show right now. Tonight's turnout has been absolutely beautiful. Um, you guys are absolutely incredible. So if you guys are enjoying the experience right now, smash the like button. And we are going to be giving away vinyl soon, bro. How many categories are we into right now? Um, I think we're like eight deep right now. We're eight deep right now? Yeah. All right, fantastic. But let's keep going on with this. I believe we are currently at... Oh, no, we're refreshed on We're me. now at Ben. Ben, thank Thank you so much for pulling up, bro. We appreciate it. And you said, best podcast out. Another big year in 2023. Absolutely. Thank you for rocking with us. Next up, Aiden Grady. We appreciate you, bro. And you said, I love what you guys did this year. You put me on to some new stuff and the content is amazing. Good luck for 2023. Thank you so much, Aiden. And we hope to put you on to more new music in the new year. Next up, we have Scott123. Appreciate you. And you said, loving the stream, guys. Been watching for the past year. And it is one of the best music channels on YouTube. Um, that means the world to us. And you said, um, hold on. Need that vinyl also. Yep. It's coming up maybe in like four or five more category announcements. We'll be giving away Mount My Eyes, See Your Future. Next up, we are now at Eastwood 61. Thank you so much for being here and pulling up. And you said, love from the Netherlands, brothers. 3 a.m. at the moment. Wow. Honestly, we always see those messages of like, oh, it's 3 a.m. where I'm at. It's 4 a.m. where I'm at. Like, it's actually fucking crazy to me that you guys are willing um, to sacrifice your sleep just to be here and chilling out with us. So um, that does mean a lot to me and to the entire team. And uh, you also said, um, hold on a second. Where was I? Big fan of the podcast. Keep it up. Much love to you, brother. Next up, we have Kyle once again. Shout out to you. And you said, um, HT. What does HT mean? I don't know. I'm horrible with acronyms. Yeah, Belize into Aquamarine is the best track. To, sorry, is the best back-to-back -back tracks this whole year. The transition is one of the cleanest this year as well. Best sampled album. Um, that's an amazing take, Kyle. And I do think that Belize and Aquamarine are two top 15 songs of the year, in my opinion. So that's a great take. But let's now go back. Let's go on back to the category. All right. What are um, we at right now? Wow. Did not expect to see this. Best freestyle of the year winner is Corday on LA Leech. Okay, there we go. But it was it was, it was a fire. fire. It was a fire freestyle. I will give him that. I would just so. put it at the bottom of the list. I'm not gonna I, lie, I, you Absol guys. had a fantastic one. Sai Hai the Prince had a fantastic one, and Rome Streets did as well. So Corday on LA Leakers, 39%. Absol on LA Leakers, 31%. Sai Hai the Prince on LA Leakers should be an LA, uh, LA Leakers uh, category, 16%. And then Rome Streets on Sway's Universe, 12%. Now, honestly, shout out LA Leakers, bro. Like, they're just the best platform when it comes to freestyles. Absolutely. But our winner for best freestyle of 2022. Wow. Is Absol on LA Leakers. Wow, that's incredible. Big W for Absol. I mean, he came back after six years and he gave us a project to remember. So um, I'm happy. I'm happy for, uh, for Absol to win that one. Absolutely. Okay, let's keep going on with this next one. Next category, Best New Artist. And the nominees are... What do we have here? Mike Dimes, Yeet, Doshi, and Red Veil. Fantastic picks. Sorry, from Dochi. I said Dochi. My fantastic bad. picks from all over the place. All kinds of different new artists have emerged this year, and it's been a great year to witness new songs and albums come out from new refreshing artists. So um, shout out to everyone in the community that is an artist that's making music at the moment. 2023 will be your year. Just keep fucking ripping it. And it goes for anyone that's trying to you know accomplish something right now. Just keep ripping it, and you guys will achieve it um, whenever it's time for you guys to achieve it. So we appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming through, everyone. And smash the like button if you are enjoying 
enjoying the stream right now. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Dylan. Oh, hold on. We got to announce the next category. No, we just did. My bad. Yeah, we just did. Bro, I'm so sorry. Like, I because I'm looking at the super chats, and I'm trying to keep up with the amount of I like know. categories we've gone through, so it gets confusing. My bad for the mistake, guys. But let me go back on to Dylan. Thank you so much for the super chat. And you said Jid album of the year. Thanks for making dope content, lads. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, Bailey and Blue. You guys have both been entered into the raffle. Let me go on to Dez. Thank you so much for the super chat. And you said, can't believe um, y'all are sleeping on the goat nav. Uh, uh, it wasn't a good Where could he have been nominated this year? Because I don't see a single category where he would have been deserving. To be totally Maybe. fucking honest. No, I, I don't think so either. I'm being honest with you, at least in my opinion. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Hunter. Thank you so much for a uh, super chat. And you said you guys are truly the GOATs. Can't wait for 2023. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Let me go on to Malcolm. You have been entered into the raffle. And you said, um, how y'all feel about the new Quadeca album? It's a really solid list. And I have to give him more listens to give my official verdict. But I've gone through it a couple of times. And I am really feeling the record. Let me go on to Jimmy. Hope you're doing well tonight, bro. And you said... Immaculate vibes tonight, fellas. Shout out to the hardest working hip hop channel on YouTube. Here's hoping to win Melt My Eyes to Your Future. We really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Lou, do you want to count through the categories just to see what's our official count? Yeah. Just to let people know what we're doing. By the way, it's going to be at 15 that we're going to announce the final winner um, for Melt My Eyes to Your Future. And then everyone else that entered has a chance to get Mr. Moral on the Big Steppers at the end of this stream. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Philip Lewandowski. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, we need a recount for the best trap album, Heroes, uh, Heroes and Villains Goaded. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. You're 10 deep, by the way. 10 categories deep. 10 categories deep. Let me go on to Crazed. Hope you're doing well tonight. And you said, y'all can't be looking this clean. My girl might be watching. Keep up the good work. <laughs> we appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. Then we have, um, I believe it is Colin and No Trucks and Garrison. You guys have all been entered into the raffle. But let me go on to Emilio, I hope you're doing well tonight, bro. Thank you so much for the super chat. And he said, skip my first son's birthday to come out tonight. Jeez, we appreciate you. And I mean, listen, you probably made a good choice. Yeah, <laughs> Let me keep I going on with this. Um, I believe it's it's magnitude. Hope you're doing well tonight, bro. Thank you so much for coming through. And you said, y'all uh, uh, love y'all NFR. Remember to like the live stream, everyone. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. And yes, tonight has been an incredible turnout. Um, we're going to try and do this every single year um, until the podcast closes. So, I mean, listen, it's, it's incredible. You guys are a part of the first one. So let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Luke. I hope you're doing well tonight. You have been entered into the raffle. And you said, her loss is a better album heroes and villains has more bangers good take i think that is reasonable but let me go on to liam you have been entered as well thank you so much for the super chat and you said mad uh man i'd love melt my eyes to your future vinyl much love from ireland five categories away five categories away and i have it and i could tell you it is a beautiful vinyl um so listen best of luck to you liam but let me keep going on with this let me go on to um i believe it is nad you have been entered into the raffle once again um dylan says can't wait for the rocky album i can't wait either and we actually have a video right now on the channel i'm um, going through the rocky rollout if you guys want to check it out um go ahead it's there for you guys to watch but let me go on to twiddlist you said give me that vinyl well we're five categories away from the next one so we'll see what happens but lou Let's see what this voting is saying right now, Let's bro. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. And the votes are Red Veil uh, just pulling slightly ahead of Yeet. Wow. It's that's a two-man so, race that's right a, now. That's incredibly polarizing, bro. Two I was expecting Yeet different to artists. win, but I'm happy that Red Veil. Oh, and I was 38-38. Oh, shit. Oh, my god. Might be another tie, guys, on our hands. Who did you vote for? I voted for Red Veil. I voted Red Veil as well. I, I think, think he's going to get uh, the dub on our part, but. We'll have to see what ends up happening. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, you know which artists emerge from next year, bro. That's going to be super exciting. We'll see what happens. Um, hold on a second. Is the is the voting officially done on this? Not yet. I don't think it's officially done yet. I don't think we'll it's keep... officially done. It is officially right, done now. Go. All right, we have another two way tie in the community. Red Veil and Yeet, thirty eight percent apiece on best new artists. Then Mike Dimes at sixteen percent, fantastic artist, and then Doshi. At six percent, Baloo. What is NFR's best new artist of the year? Red Veil has Vail. won best new artist of 2022. Salute to him. I had learned to swim um, in my top ten rap albums of 2022, so I'm very happy to see him. And we have that vinyl home. coming into the studio, actually. So um, he's a fantastic artist, and Learn to Swim is one of the best albums of 2022. And next category, next category is best lyricist, and this is a ma massive one. We're always talking about bars. We're always talking about penmanship. Who's the best rapper in the game? And this category has a lot to do with that. And it was tough to leave out Kendrick Lamar here, but we did. The nominees are number one is Nas. Number two, Black Thought. Number three, Lupe Fiasco. 
and then we have Jit for best lyricist of the year. I'm so curious to see what this poll gives us. I think our community is going to go with Jid. You went I don't Lupe. know if that's the... I, uh, or did you go with Nas? Who did you go with? I went with either Nas or Lupe. I'll say that for now. Okay, I went J.I.D. with this one. Really? I went J.I.D. Wow, this okay. year. It was one of the best lyrical accomplishments of 2022 with the Forever Story, for sure. Even his feature game was super strong. Like, I really can't complain. But, um, Lou, explain the raffle. Where are we at with all of this, brother? So, yeah, we're four categories away from giving away Denzel Curry's Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. And the way that it's been working tonight, guys, is that we're giving away three vinyls total through a raffle. One super chat equals one entry into the contest. The dollar amount does not matter. And the more super chats that you send the higher ch your chances are of actually winning the vinyl. And show them the Mel My Eyes vinyl real quick. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, by the way, who won the last one again? That was Jack Maxwell. I, I, I believe it was Jack Maxwell. We're going to be sending this to you. Um, we're going to be having it nice and wrapped up. So, once again, Jack, send us your IG. Um, you can go through NFR's IG if you want. And listen, we'll have it shipped to you. Yep. Next one. As Lou said... The next announcement is going to be for Melt My Eyes, See Your Future. Um, it's a beautiful cover. It's coming from Urban Outfitters. Um, it is the blue vinyl. So this will be giving, we'll be raffling this away very soon. And then, low-key, the biggest moment for last. Yep. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. We're going to be giving away this vinyl at the end of the stream. One of the biggest moments, not only for the NFR community this year, but for music as a whole. So good luck to everyone, and thank you for every thank you to everyone that's sending in raffles right now. Um, thank you for the support throughout the whole year, and thank you to everyone that's sending super chats this year. It's been an incredible year, um, and we can't thank you enough. But Lou, you want to keep going on with this? Well, Lupe's at the bottom of this poll right now. I can't believe. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Let's go on. We are now at. What do you have? Uh, the rag. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight. And you said Dro Kenji, hella underrated. Much love, guys. Much love to you. And Dro Kenji is definitely an artist that I have my eyes on. Next up, though, we have Payson. Thank you so much for pulling up. We appreciate you. And you said can't wait for next year's bangers from y'all. Yes, you guys are going to be getting some bangers from us. Um, I would say even in, in January. Uh, definitely in January, you guys are going to see some great videos from us, without a doubt. Next up, though, we have Luke. Thank you so much for being here and sending a dono. You said, long live ASAP, best Rocky album. I could consider it. I I, I, I could definitely I think so. Bro, you have Phoenix on there. You have Goldie on there. You have One Train on there. There's some serious... I'm long last ASAP, for sure. I, I always have them both. Like, I... He's... he's catalog is so complete and consistent. I don't, I, I don't think I, like testing is could be considered his best album though. No, I don't I think, think that's so. easily his weakest even though it's still a great album. Um Nat, thank you. You've been entered. Shout out to DJ DJ once again. You've been killing it tonight. Appreciate you when you said I have a curious music non-rap question. Do you all do y'all listen to uh, your fellow Canadian rock bands like Nickelback and Three Days Grace? Also, Happy New Year. I mean, we listened to Nickelback when we were a kid. You were obviously a massive Nickelback when I fan. Was a yeah, when I was like eight, eight and nine years old, I yeah. really enjoyed their music, and it's probably <laughs> one. Of, it was probably one of the, like the biggest guilty pleasures I ever had in like you know music, my music listening experience. So, uh, yes, I did show my fellow Canadian bands love, and we appreciate you, DJ DJ. Um, thank you so much for coming through tonight. But let me go on to um, Jay who again we appreciate you and you said y'all my brother just said this bar i had to say it no matter how mainstream you are you'll end up underground anyways much love favorite team impala song oh fantastic bar i do like that bar um, because it's true you know no matter where you end up you will always get uh you'll always end up back home and sheesh i guess that's the underground but let me keep going on with this and you said hold on best team impala song let me pull out my phone for you let me go through this i would probably go with Borderline is up there for me. Borderline but, uh, is. I haven't uh, gone too deep into the Tame Impala catalog just yet. Yes, so. I'm changing is one of my favorites for me. Mm. That's a fantastic song. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to, I believe it is Jake West. Thank you so much for coming through. And you said, Bing Bong Potato. Bing Bong Potato back to you. Happy New Year, brother. But let me keep going on with this. Emma, um, Rupert, and Lachlan, you have been all entered once again. Thank you so much. Kyle asks, psychedelic album or artist recommendation? Flatbush Zombies for sure. Absolutely. For psychedelic rap, my favorites over the years. And obviously, you know, we have ASAP Rocky in that conversation. Uh, Max B is not really like psychedelic rap, but Max B is fantastic just for like the cloud rap vibes and you know if you want to smoke up or whatever it is so let's keep going on with this let me go on to Stefan I hope you're doing well tonight and you said favorite Kanye song uh, mine's Saint Pablo mine will always be Spaceship I believe Spaceship will always be my favorite That's can't my tell one. me nothing is my favorite all time 
Kanye West song. Just his biggest anthem, in my opinion. But next up, we have um, Nenrif. Thank you so much for being here. And you said, have you guys listened to the D12 albums? Yes, we have. D12 World, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic listens. I believe I had a couple of those on CD, actually, just because I was listening to so much Aftermath and just like... What what a crazy Those are some run. brutal fucking albums in terms of like subject matter. And oh, shit. they are absolutely. They go in. Bro. They're very depictive. But yeah, keep going. Luke. They don't hold back. Next up, Rupert, you've been entered. Thank you. Next up, controversy. Thank you so much for being here. You said love the fresh suits, boys. Salute to NFR. Salute back to you. Appreciate you for rocking with us. Next up, though, we have Nad. Nad says been a few years, so expect a day release next year. Um, yeah, he dropped, I believe, in 2021. So. I think he is due for a new album. I he can't is due wait for, for that album. one. But the votes are in for best lyricist of the year from the community. Number one is JID. He is your favorite lyricist of 2022, winning the poll at 49%. Then it's Nas at 26, Black Thought at 13, and then Lou, your choice, Lupe Fiasco at 10%. I think Lupe should have been a bit, uh, yeah. bit higher. That's all right. For sure. Best lyricist according to NFR podcast is, let's see right here. Wow. What is it? It goes to Nas. Oh, Nas has whoa, won Best Lyricist of 2022. And this is very well fucking deserved, bro. If you listen to King's Disease 3 and you go through songs like Thun, Michael and Quincy, Hood to Hood, like, it's just, it's lyrical onslaught after lyrical onslaught. And if it wasn't for Lupe Fiasco to win this category, I'm super happy that it is the fucking, you know, the, the greatest of all time. Greatest rapper of all time. So. He is the greatest rapper of all time. Um, but Luke, let's go on to the next category. All right. This is where we get to the massive categories, guys. We have best producer now. And there's been a lot of great fucking beats and, and uh, production choices all year long. But the nominees for best producer are Metro Boomin, The Alchemist, Hit Boy, and K Trinada. Where did you go? I went with... Um, I went with The Alchemist. I, I went with Uncle Lal as well. That was my voting for this year. But um, all right, let's keep going. I think Metro Boomin's going to win for the community without a doubt. You think Metro's going to win with 90% this? already, yeah. Oh, now, now it's 76, but still. The Alchemist did a lot this year for sure, bro. He had a fantastic year. But okay, let's go on to Tony. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, bro. And he said, what bro, does NFR someone stand Someone said Cardi posted. Let's, let's see if that's, oh, hold on, if my that's bad. factual. Hold on a second. Let's see if that is real life. Oh, he did. What did he say? Just a little selfie, bro. A little Sheesh. Playboy Cardi selfie with a red iPhone. Interesting. Right? That's probably just a case. But um, yeah, guys, it's looking like it's going to be Cardi season. It is looking like it's going to be Cardi season. What are you saying? What do you th- what, what's your stuff? prediction for it? Um, I think it's going to come maybe January, February. I think January, I think February? it's coming soon. What about Imagine you? tonight we get a surprise listen from Playboy Cardi. Sheesh, How crazy it, would that be? That I would be absolutely love it. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, what does NFR stand for, daddies? <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. And it sounds for not for radio. <laughs> um, but let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Jimmy. Thank you so much for the super chat. And you said favorite bar slash lyric of 2022. Probably J. Cole's um, Einstein bar off of Johnny P's Caddy. That's definitely one of my favorite. How about you? What do you got? Um, be it the wheel or the will of alignment off of the hard part five that was um one of the most quotable and memorable for me but of course um the eureka bar and the mc uh, the john moran bar from jid is up there as well um Uh, denzel's bar off of angels where he's like i could either live like jay or die like ja hamdulillah um that whole line is uh insane so there's been a lot of great bars for sure even the whole takeover bar from uh from nas on thun Another great one. But next up, Kyle Blazik once again. Bro, you've been killing it. Much love to you. And you said, Walk Him Down would have been one of the best, if not the best song, if Mustafa was a separate song interlude. I still feel like 21 had a better performance on Umbrella, but I do think Mustafa just didn't belong on that song, in my opinion. But next up, we have Aaron. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to you. Um, Next up, Omar. Big OG. Always seen you running up the YouTube comments. So... Thank you for always supporting. And you said, it's been a great year, boys. Joined at the K-Dot rollout. Can't wait for another great year. Looking very dapper. Appreciate you, brother. And a great year will be ahead of us. Next up, we have Alex Roeder. And you say, best rapper of 2022. 
It is Jid, in my opinion. J.I.D. or Denzel Curry. Two-way tie for me on that one. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Bailey. Don FM win non-rap album of the year, The Weekend Over Drake. Um, well, we didn't consider Drake for that category because he released a, a rap album. And honestly, never mind, wasn't you know that great of an album. Mm-hmm. So it didn't get nominated. But yes, Don FM did win our non-rap album of the year. But let me go see the polls, bro. What are we at right now? What's it looking like? Let's see what's happening. Of course, Metro Boomin. Oh shit! Fifty nine percent. Any other way? Fifty nine percent already. Jeez, there we go. Uncle Al did Tana Talk Four, and he did a lot of great shit this year. But so. I think Me- Me- Metro is a very fair choice. It though. is. It, I was very, very close to choosing Metro. I'd be happy if Metro won. Absolutely, um, he deserves it. He had a fantastic best year. producer of twenty twenty two according to NFR. Um, it pleases me to say it is Metro Boom, and after all. It is Metro Boom. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Metro. Metro. Big, man. big W. Fantastic producer. One of our favorite. I think he's one of my favorite producers just from my childhood, man. He's my favorite producer. Well, not my. Sorry. Whoa. He's one of my favorite producers of all time, without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. All right. Keep going with this. What do we got? Um, the next category, guys, is going to be best hit song of the year. And we definitely had some fucking bangers and um, some great songs that ended up charting high. So we have. Jimmy Cooks by Drake and 21 Savage. N95 by Kendrick Lamar. 7.12 p.m. by Future. And Rich Flex by Drake and 21 Savage. Second time Rich Flex gets nominated. It was a great album this year. It definitely was. So let me see what you guys are saying in the polls. Um, Hold on a second. That's going to go up anytime soon. And I'm going to be putting my vote in. What did you get? What did you put? I had placed N95 by Kendrick. I put N95 by Kendrick as well. That was my favorite. Uh, let me see what happened. Yeah, y'all robbed Danger Mouse. I mean, Danger Mouse could have fit in there for sure. Uh, that's uh, I don't absolutely. think he was robbed, though. I, I think that uh, there, there has been better producers this year. All right, N95 is currently winning the poll at 57%. Wow, okay. Interesting. 59% yeah. now for N95. We'll see where that ends up going. We'll see what happens over there. But, Lou, um, I'm going to continue going on with this. Let me go on to, I believe we are at... Sebastian, uh, we are at Sebastian. You have been entered once again. You said melt my eyes, see your vi- melt my eyes, see your future vinyl would go crazy. Well, it's going to be given away very soon, Lou. How many are we at officially um, right now? Let's see right here. Let's see how we much have we're gone at. Gone through friend. one, two, three. How many are we at right now? Sheesh, it's been progressing, eh? What do we got? We got one more to go through until we give away melt my eyes, see your so future. So after best hit song, we're going to do it. Yeah. Ah, sheesh, okay. Well, listen, it's happening. It's going to happen very soon, so we'll see what happens. But let me go into Leo, and you said, thoughts on Italy's World Cup? I don't know. I haven't seen it in like eight years, so we'll see what mm-hmm. happens. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go into Evan, best leak song of 2022? I can't really tell you. I'm not too educated on the unreleased stuff. But what do you got? Best leak song of 2022? Um, yeah, I don't really. Actually, um, fuck, what is it called? What do you have? Um, I showed it to you the other night. It's that Kanye unreleased, bro. Oh, yes, yes. That's um, been going crazy on, that on is, TikTok. Yeah, that's called. Well, let me pull it up real quick. I've been asking you for this. 530. Oh, you want me to send it to you? I, I, yeah, I asked. Sure, you. sure. Send just, it to you. Yeah, live. just send, send that over to me. I want to listen to the snippet. That sounded absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see what happens with that song. But let me go on to Twidless once again. Thank you so much. And you said, I want to see you guys versus Hive Mind in a WWE style tag team match. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, honestly, I, but, you know, I talk to Riley all the time and they have a fantastic community out there. Um, shout out to Hive Mind. I, I love their content personally. And um, it's going to come in 2023. We're going to link up with them and we're going to make some content. So um, when that happens, you guys will be notified. But let me go on to Ethan. Thank Thank you so much for the super chat. And you said, hey, guys, hoping to win Melt My Eyes to Your Future. Definitely my album Best of the year. Best of luck, Ethan. For Best sure, of luck, Ethan. And listen, it's coming very soon. Um, we're going to get through some more super chats. And then we will be announcing Hit Song of the Year. And then we will be announcing the winner to Melt My Eyes to Your Future for the vinyl giveaway. And Nick's going to be coming into the video for that. But let's go on to, I believe we're at Casey. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, great show, gentlemen. Here's to that Denzel vinyl. It's coming soon. It definitely is coming soon. Um, Ty Smith, Louie, and Cooper, you guys have all been entered into the raffle. East, I hope you're doing well tonight. And you said, I'm going to be I'm going to be the Metro Boomin of Tampa, Florida. I wish the best to you in your career. Um, lots of love and prosperous uh, energy for the new year. That's amazing, bro. I, I love absolutely. the manifestation. Shout out to you and best of luck with the music. Um, next up, we have Jake West. Thank you so much for being here and for donating and taking part tonight. And you said... I wish more music channels did awards like this. I'm having so much fun watching. 
We're having fun doing it, guys. Much love to everybody that is in here. We love you guys. And please hit smash. Sorry, smash the like button to help this get out to more people. And you said, I vote non-perishable by Toby Lou for album of the year. I'm yet to hear that one. So thank you for the recommendation. I am going to take a note of that. Um, but next up, we have Jose... Thank you so much, Jose. And you said, just got my record player, Def Need, that Denzel. Yeah. We'll I, see what I, happens. Best of luck to you on that one. Um, Let's go back to these polls. Oh, my goodness. N95, 50% right now. Jimmy Cook's at second place with 27. Rich Flex, 17%. And 712 at 6%. Any surprises here? What do you got, bro? Any surprises? I thought, yeah, I thought it would be N95. I mean, it's kind of exactly how I thought it would have gone down. I just thought 712 p.m. would have got more love. But that's pretty much it. All right, so um, the voting is going to end very soon for the community, and once we do that, well, we'll see what happens. Get, get in your last votes, guys. Go for it. And there we go. It has officially ended, and I believe it is N95, which ends up winning the best hit song of the year at NFR for 2022 for the community. It wins at 50%. Jimmy Cook's at 26 Rich Flex at 16 and 712 at 6%. Very interesting, Baloo. Let's go on to our hit song. Best hit song of 2022 from NFR, and it's a shocker, guys. What do we got? It is a shocker. It is not N95. By it is Kendrick not Lamar. N95. It is Jimmy Cooks wow. by Drake and 21 Sheesh. Savage. Okay. Uh, it should be N95. Yeah, no, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Another L. What's going on with these votings? Another L, guys. But okay, listen, guys, I think it's time. We are going to be announcing um, the winner. For the Melt My Eyes, See Your Future vinyl giveaway. It is time. And listen, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Um, we got some stuff to do as far as Super Chats go. We're going to rip through those, but we're at our final five categories for tonight. Yeah, we got six more six technically more to, go. Okay. to go through. But uh, yeah, you got Best Beat, you got Best Feature, Best Music Video, MVP, Best Rap Song, and Best Rap Album. So the biggest categories are yet to come. But uh, yeah, let's announce the winner to the next vinyl, which is Melt My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, we have a winner, but let's get a drum roll in here. We need a drum roll. The winner of the Melt My Eyes See Your Future is... Okay, stop the drum roll. <laughs> ben Kowucha, you win Melt My Eyes See Your hey, Future. Hey, shout out Ben. Congratulations. Contact us on NFR's IG and we'll be shipping that out to you. But listen... There's still time to win a vinyl the tonight. The major prize. The major prize. Mr. Marlon, the big steppers, is going to be given away at the end of the award show. We have six categories left, so it's coming up very soon, guys. And thank you so much for a beautiful turnout tonight. Baloo, let's go on to the next category. Let's rip yes, it. Yes, we have Best Beat of 2022 coming up right now. And the nominations for Best Beat are Superhero by Metro Boomin, Brand New 911 by Chuck Strangers, Silent Hill by Boy Wanda, Beach Noise, Soundwave, and Jahan Sweet. And X-Wing by Dirtwork, Clutch George, and Darko. Great beats, bro. Great production over the course of the year. What did you end up uh, voting for? I ended up going with Brand New 911. I went with Brand New 911 as well. That, that sax uh, excuse me, saxophone is uh, tremendous. It's bro. absolutely crazy. But um, everyone, yeah, W's for Ben in the chat. W's for Ben in the chat, for sure. Uh, and thank you guys so much for donating tonight. It's an absolute pleasure. But let me keep going on. Um, let me keep going on with this. I believe we are currently at beef. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. And you said, "What's up, fellas? Never commented or been in a live stream before. Watching all vids for a couple of years now. Absolutely love watching all debate and provide um, unparalleled insight, gents." Can't wait to see what y'all do in 2023. I believe you meant to mention. We appreciate you, Beef. Thank you so much for the support. Um, uh, I believe I already said Louie and, Coop, uh, and Cooper. You guys have been added in as well. Um, Kobe says, Jagger plus Sprite, best tasting adult beverage. Jagger and Sprite is very good. You know good, what? I never had that, bro. I never had Jagger never, and Sprite. You never had Jagger and Sprite? It's very good. I gotta it, try it, that out. We definitely, yeah. I think you'd absolutely enjoy it. Actually, I'm gonna go, fuck, I kind of want to refill You, you want to refill of that? I kind of yeah, want to refill. I, I can, uh, well, actually, no. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have someone come through yeah. and, br and bring it in for us. Just oh, hey, that's fucking there awesome. Okay, there we Shout go. Shout out, there Nick. All right. Um, let's see what else you guys are saying, though. We have Cooper that sent in a dono. Thank you so much. You've been entered into the raffle. Thank you. Um, Prod Thank K. You, Dot says, WNFR, W to you, Prod K. Dot. We appreciate you. Um, next up, we have Brandon who pulls up. 
Much love, bro. Thank you for supporting. You said, what's up, guys? What's up to you? I became a big fan of the, of the discussions this year. Your content spreads positivity, and I can't wait for 2023's hip-hop scene with NFR. Um, that's awesome, Brandon. And it's honestly such an honor that a lot of you guys actually follow through, I would say, the motions of the hip-hop industry with us kind of to guide you through it. So it's an honor to be doing this content and to be a part of your routine. So thank you, Brandon. Next up, we have Dylan. Much love to you. And you said, I need that Wenzel Worry vinyl on my shelf. Great stream, fellas. Sorry you couldn't get it, Dylan, but there's still time for you to win that Kendrick one, brother. So best of luck. Next up, we have Devilish. Once again, much love. And you said, in my opinion, I feel that She Codes got snubbed for album of the year. Do you think it could have been replaced with KD3? Or you think it's... It's good where it's at not being on our list here. I think it's okay. I think it's all right. But you had it in your top five, no, this year? It was in my top five. I think it ranked at number five. It ranked at number five. for yeah. you. And Then you had a KD3 at number four, correct? Exactly. Okay, so we kind of had the same voting on both of those. Yeah, it could definitely have been added into this year. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Will. And you said, heading to Montreal tomorrow morning. Got a gra got a greasy six-hour drive, but looking forward to being in Montreal for New Year's Eve. Any good food spots near Brossard? Um, well... If you're near Brossard, then you're technically near downtown. Um, if you want to go in, there's a great Portuguese chicken spot called Mapun Muye. That's a mm. fantastic spot. It, probably the best poutine in town as far as like what you could get. I mean, there's always a line, so make sure that you do get there at a good time. Um, what else can I give you? If you don't like that, I mean, there are some good sushi spots within Montreal. Um, there's a place called Sushiville that's absolutely like fantastic. That's my go-to here. Um, what else could I give him? I mean... Near Brassard, I don't know. I'm not familiar with like the Brassard area. Well, like I mean, that. it's downtown. It's a, it's True. a quick it's a quick drive from downtown. So like anywhere in that area, I'd say Mapun Muye is like one of my favorite spots within Montreal. But let me keep going on with this. Um, Jocelyn and um, do as on deck. You guys have been entered into the raffle. But let me go on to Ryan. Hope you're doing well tonight, bro. And you said NFR podcast of 2022. Oh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for the comment. Um, Miss Marlon, the Big Steppers album of the year. Love you guys. Appreciate you so much, Ryan. Much Thank love. you so much for the support over the year. Let me go on to the next super chat. We have Kyle. Appreciate you so much for coming in tonight, bro. And you said, hey, what's the coolest vinyl you have? Blonde coming in. And 10 by West Side Gun. Those are definitely oh. the coolest. And the Carter 3. Can't that's an that that's another one, vinyl bro. that I really fuck with. 10-year um, anniversary. Uh, Macadelic 10-year anniversary as well. We have some cool ones coming through. Um, let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Kyle. No, we just did Kyle. Alexa? Alexa, once again. You said, greetings from Serbia, bro's best music podcast. Thank you so much. I believe you sent it again, but we appreciate you. Love back from Canada. Then we got Controversy once again. You said, great award show, boys. Superior than the Grammys. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. Um, and then after that, we have Louis once again. He said, hope to get my first vinyl. Well, we are giving Miss Marlon the Big Steppers away very soon. But let me see what the polls are saying right now. Best Beat. Superhero is currently winning at 41%. Wow. Guys, get any last-minute votes you want in. because All we the will be love for Metro. Crazy. Metro is absolutely ripping it tonight. Um, but yeah, I believe that he did have one of the most solid years in hip-hop and in music as a whole. Um, but let me see. Did it end officially? I believe it's going to pop on my screen right now. What do you think the boys went with? What did you guys go for for best beat? I don't right. want to tell us. All right. And if I just said Vigine. All right, let me go. <laughs> Superhero at 40% ends up winning. X-Wing at 25% ends up coming in at second. Brand new 9-11, brand new 9 excuse me, 17%. And Silent Hill tied at 17%. So that's the community. They believe Superhero is the best beat Fair of the year. Fair enough. It's a fucking banger. But NFR's best beat of 2022. I knew it. What is it? It is Superhero <laughs> by Metro Boomin. And it's crazy because we've, we've actually seen a lot of eye-to-eye -eye, like picks when it comes to the community and NFR. But I definitely chose brand new 911 um, with that one. But let's go into the next category. Best feature of 2022. And we had an amazing year for features. You had J. Cole on Johnny Peace Caddy as a nomination. You had um, Kodak Black on Silent Hill. Drake on Churchill Downs. And MF Doom on Belize. Ooh. All phenomenal. Bro. All phenomenal. Kodak projects. Black probably ranks at the bottom of those to me, but he does. So, who did you pick, Lou? <laughs> I don't know. Kodak. Who did you, you picked Kodak on? Yeah, you. Um, I picked Kodak. Yeah. I ended up going Kodak this nice. year. We'll see what happens. Let's see what the chat's saying about this. Um, hold on. No, the poll hasn't gone up yet. They'll go up very soon, though. Hold on a second. Let me get back to the supers. Lou, you yeah. want to get back with the supers? Absolutely. Next up, let's see where we're at. We are now at Louis. Louis, thank you so much for being here and donating. And you said, hope to get my first vinyl. 
that's awesome if you can start our, your, your collection with a gift from nfr that would be crazy next up though we have tackle lord thank you so much you said yo this is my fourth chat you improved my music taste so much thank you um thank you so much for watching and um you know for actually taking our words seriously and even just you know checking out the products that we recommend that's awesome that um you do value our opinions but next up we have tilt who says i don't care if i win i'll give it to my brother much love that's awesome you know giving your brother a nice gift it's cool to have someone else in mind for something that you might be winning um so that's great next up we have emma emma thank you so much for being here tonight you've been entered with another entry and you said kendrick is the messy of rap rest in peace to pelle absolutely rest in peace to pelle and i do think that messi is um yeah definitely the greatest of all time in my eyes he is the greatest of all time um, next up we have daniel thank you so much daniel you're always supporting so we appreciate you and you said i work right now but had to pull up for the boys love the dedication brother hope you're enjoying the award show but next up we have daniel gunderson appreciate you and you said new viewer from these past couple months love the passion you guys are the best um, you guys keep us passionate and um, honestly motivated as well. So much love to everybody that watches our videos, leaves comments, pulls up to these live streams, just interacting and engaging with us. It goes a long way. So much love to everybody who's here tonight for, for real. Um, next up, we are at prod K dot once again. Thank you. And you said I sent $10, my boys. You didn't read it. I'm going to go um, find that for you right now. Keep going with the Super Chats absolutely. and I'll go find it for him. My bad, Prod K Dot. Um, next up, we have Jehu once again. Um, you've been killing it tonight. Thank you. And you said, I sent y'all a pick of my fit. I sent it to Lose DM. I'm going to check that right now, Jehu. Let me see. Pull That's that awesome, bro. Hold on a second. Let's see what we got going on here. Prod K Dot. sec. Requests. Um, that's so weird. Why can't I see it? Hold on a sec. Mm. Prod K dot. Is there a section on IG where it's like fucking hidden messages? Bro? Yeah, go to hidden requests all the way at the bottom, maybe because it gets like there's uh, bro. It's so weird the way that they organize it now. So requests, you always oh there we go hidden requests. There you go. Hold on. All right, there we go. My fit for the oh that's crazy, bro. You're dripped out tonight. Let me man. see. Let me see Jehu. Look at this. Hey, there we go. Jay, who's fucking fitted the out. Full like, suit, bro. The we, bow tie, I love it, bro. In brother. front of the Tesla man of taste. There yes, we go. Look sir. at the bow tie and everything. Boom. Big W, Jay, who um, we appreciate you, brother, um, just for um, really investing into the night. Um, much love. And next up, we have um, Pixel Chizek. Sorry if I mispronounced that. You said, will there be more future collabs with Fantano? First time in a stream as well. Um, yeah, we would definitely love to connect with him again. So we'll have to see what happens in terms of 2023. But thank you for the super chat. Next up, we have Snacks in 52. Thank you so much for being here and for donating. And you said, need more Jit and Smino collabs. Um, I'm almost positive that we're going to get more collabs from them, especially considering that like they're going on tour together. Think about how much time they'll have to actually cook up in the studio. So I think your wish will be granted next year. But next up, Lazonia says, for your birthday, your boyfriend got a party bus. <laughs> That's a fire bar. <laughs> that, um, that was one of the best That was off of her loss, obviously. Which yeah. song was that again? Uh, I can't remember for the life of me. Mark, song Mark, Mark knows. Mark, what song was that? Oh, oh he's shit. not here? The one th fuck. Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. bar for sure. Um, Prod, I can't, I can't find it, bro. I'm being honest with you. You know what, Prod? Just um, drop it in the comments. I mean, if we'll, yeah, yeah, just drop it in the comments, and we'll just we'll, we'll react to it there. Sorry about that. Um, and we'll, we'll count it as an extra submission if we haven't for the randomizer for the last vinyl. And speaking of the last vinyl, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five categories to go, and by the end of that, we will be giving away Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar to one of you guys. As we mentioned before, if you're just coming into the stream, one super chat equals one entry into the raffle. The dollar amount does not matter. The more super chats you send in, the more chances you have at winning the vinyl. And um, let's go back to YouTube. Let's go back to YouTube. Let's see. What, what are we say? What's the poll saying um, right now? Did you see anything from Prog K dot? I have not. No. Okay. Best feature officially is Johnny Peace, Caddy, J Cole. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Sixty-one percent absolutely. You got it absolutely. Kodak right. Black second place, fourteen percent. MF Doom on Belize, twelve percent. Then Drake on Churchill Downs at eleven percent. You know, let's what? Go I'm not even gonna look at this one. I don't need to because yeah, yeah. it's Johnny Peace, Caddy. 
Oh, absolutely. By J. Cole, of course. Bro, no, bro, it says Kodak in the back. No, I just, <laughs> <laughs> just got You got me for a second. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> but the, the guys trolled us on this one, bro. Imagine. Um, of course, J. Cole and Johnny P's caddy. Um, one of the greatest features I've heard in recent memory. J. Cole's best feature. That's my hot take. I think it's J. Cole's best ever feature. Beating out um, Knock the Hustle remix. Beating out a lot and every other feature. How do you feel about that take? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, for sure, bro. It was definitely the best feature of the year. And you knew as soon as the song dropped back in January. Think about that, bro. It's a full year since that verse has now dropped, man. Hey, listen. Salute to J. Cole. Salute to J. Cole for Salute that Salute to Talk 4. Fantastic record as well. Sheesh, there we go. We see a bunch of W's and L's in the chat. Um, and thank you guys so much for coming through tonight. We appreciate everyone that's in here right now. And smash the like button um, if you guys are enjoying the stream right now. Baloo, let's go into the next category. Absolutely. Next up, we have Best Music Video. And the nominees are Walkin' by Denzel Curry, The Hard Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar, Just Wanna Rock by Lil Uzi Vert, and DMB by ASAP Rocky. And I saw a lot of people reacting to this category under our nominations video on YouTube, and they were saying how Cash In, Cash Out was snubbed. And I went to go see that video, bro. I don't know if you've seen it. But it's all stop motion animation, and it's fucking incredible. It is, but this is a it's yeah. masterful. It should have been there, in my opinion, over probably just want to rock, or or yeah, probably over that. DMB was crazy though. You can't. That's say why no, I didn't say DMB. I said I just want to rock. I, I voted DMB on this one. I voted um, walking. You voted. That walking was the on most cinematic one? to me. Did you see Prod's uh, super chat? I haven't seen it, Prod. Um, let me let me let me scroll for it a little bit. Um, let's go through all of these. Sheesh, my bad, Prod. No. Nope. No, I haven't seen anything here. from Prod. It ain't here, Prod. Send it in, brother, please. Yeah, please do. Lou, where did you leave off? I'll keep going with these. Where were you Let's at? Let's see where we're at. We are now at... Um, Hold on a second. Dylan. We're at Dylan, probably my last donation. Yeah. Don't want to go broke, Hannah Far Pharrell. Uh, well, listen, I just read out your super chat. And listen, guys, yeah, if you if you guys feel like you can't spend no more or whatever it is, please, guys, you know, like don't you know don't break your wallet. I mean, it's it's a raffle, and um, whoever ends up winning tonight will be a lucky winner. And we appreciate everyone that supports. Doesn't matter if you sent in one chat. Doesn't matter if you sent in fifteen. Doesn't matter the amount, whatever it is. Just you guys even being here, like you guys didn't even have to send tonight. Um, it's just it's absolutely incredible to be here. And why we do these raffles is interesting because you guys come in every single week. You guys support us and um you know you guys send us a load of super chats you guys are always engaged with the community so why not have fun and make a little like you know a little giveaway out of it and you know you guys could come through and have a chance to win a super cool vinyl so thank you guys for the fantastic year but let me go back on to controversy fifth chat here would love the denzel vinyl my bad you didn't get it brother but thank you so much for the super chat then we have vansky and jorge you guys have both been entered into the raffle then we have e-business. Hope you're doing well. And you said, um, she didn't looking hot tonight, boys. I hope I win that Denzel Curry album. Sorry you didn't win it, but thank you so much for coming through tonight. Then we have Lauren once again. And give me a dummy loud big OG in the community. <laughs> we got Lauren, a big OG in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight, brother. And um, yes, you have been entered once again. And Lauren, we love you, bro. Thank you so much for coming through every single week. Let's go on to Lewis. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. And you said, ASAP and Travis about to take over in 2023. Hoping for a three stacks first. Happy you both had Joe Music and Zion in your top tens. Happy that you were able to pull up tonight, bro. Thank you so much. And you were actually entered into the raffle. Let me go on to Ryan Fisher. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, NFR best podcast of 2022. Love you guys. We appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for the support. Let me go on to Peter. Thank you so hey, much Peter. for another uh, super chat, bro. We appreciate you. You're a big OG in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up. And you said, y'all think Don't Be Dumb by ASAP Rocky or Utopia will be better. I don't want to call it. It's too close. Oh, I don't know. Don't Be Dumb is about to go crazy, though. I'll say that. Utopia. I think Utopia will be the better album. I think Don't Be Dumb will be the better album. Wow. Just a, just Spicy. A, just, just for the sake of conversation. Let me go back on to Hori. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, found you guys this year and been a fan since. Awesome suits. Keep doing what you're doing. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight. Let me go on to Nebula, another big OG in the community. Thank you so much for pulling up tonight. And you said, I think Red Death got snubbed. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. And we're sorry we couldn't get to everything. So... We appreciate the recommendation. But let's go on to Louis once again. Thank you so much for the super chat. He said, I can't wait for more content in 2023. Listen, we have a lot of crazy shit. And guys, um, for anyone that came in late to the stream tonight, as I said at the beginning, we have something crazy going down tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. I can't say what it is, but it's going to be going down tomorrow. So 
maybe go to the socials around you know eastern time for the afternoon you guys will be able to see what's going on let me keep going on with this let me go on to sabrail thank you so much for coming through and you said much love guys look forward to all the new content much love to you thank you so much for the support let me go on to garrison you have been entered into the raffle once again he said favorite andre 3k track feature verse that's not international players anthem if you can't use international players anthem well international players album is my favorite you know andre 3 stacks verse like one of them for sure and if i had to go Probably maybe his best feature you could say maybe even life of the parties up there for sure too that yeah. won my feature of the year last year so that's in conversation um let's go on to verse the artist storytelling part one yeah and then my favorite track hmm I want to go probably the artist storytelling part one again, or maybe a Quemini itself. Yeah, I, I would probably even go mainstream off of AT Aliens. That's mm. another one for me in conversation. But let me know in the comment section, guys. What is Elevators Andre, too? What is Outcast's best song? If you guys want to put it there. But thank you to E Business, Will, and Jimmy. You guys have all been entered into the raffle, and Toxic Tank as well. Another big OG. You have been entered into the raffle. But let me go on to BU's. I hope you're doing well tonight, and you have been entered. And he said, first dono. Been watching since the Kendrick rollout. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, and thank you for the support let me go on to controversy once again you have been entered and you said um have you guys seen L melon's reaction to your videos absolutely we have and it would be an honor to collaborate with him for the new year um we'll see what happens here 2023 but let me go on to josh phillips hope you're doing well tonight thank you so much for the super chat and he said thanks for getting me more into hip-hop much love much love to you and thank you to everyone that's supporting us and that's coming through for the community it means the world and if you guys are enjoying the stream tonight smash that like button blue let's get on to the chat Sheesh, okay. The hard part five, bro, is winning this Wow. with 44%. Just Wanna Rock is at 17%, I believe. Yes. Walking and then after, at 30. Walking at 30 and DMB at 8. That is what the community thinks. It's is interesting because the there was that whole year. story that like the hard part five as a concept for a video was like st uh, stolen from another artist. So I don't know if that carries it down for anybody, but still a very impressive um, video. What did you vote for here? Oh, DMB for sure. DMB. The visuals are incredible. I did walk in, but let's see. NFR's winner for best music video of 2022 is... Wow. Just Wanna Rock by Lil Uzi Vert. Incredible. Shout out to Uzi. Um, fantastic music video. That's and fire. Yeah, you guys won with that. <laughs> yeah, Should honestly. Guys, yeah, <laughs> I thought you guys would go a completely different direction. Um, all right. I think, that, I think that was Fajaz influence talking yeah, a little bit. For sure. Um, but, let's, everybody into but let's go on to MVP, bro. What do we got? MVP. The nominees are Kendrick Lamar, Jid, Denzel Curry, and Drake. Sheesh, what did you pick here? I went with Jid. I went with Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar, everything considering? Actually, I might have gone with Kendrick. I'm not sure. I don't remember. You who don't I remember before. I went, I went with Ken either Jid or Kendrick. I went with Kendrick on this one. Um, all right, you Kendrick's gonna win though. Like, this is an easy. Think, yeah, you think so? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Let's hold keep on. on. Let me go vote. Yeah, go for it, Lou. All right. Um, we're now at. Jo do we do Josh Phillips? Uh, Thanks for getting me more into hip hop. Yes, we did, okay. Josh Phillips. Next absolutely. up, we are YKTS Culture Vivo once again. Thank you so much, brother. Hope to see you in the live album reaction tonight going down at 11 p.m. for Snoop Dogg's album, I Still Got It. If you guys do want to bump live albums with us on a weekly basis, we actually do it every Thursday night at midnight for new albums. We're going to be doing it next year for Travis Scott's Utopia for all the biggest releases of the year. Well, give me your top three reactions, actually. The, the top three reactions we've done. Like, this is oh, this is crazy, actually. Give give me your top... Okay, anyone in the chat yeah, that subscribed to the Patreon plan, yeah, give me your top three this. reactions from Honestly, NFR this year. Says, whoever has seen them, um, and by the way, you guys could access all of them regardless. So, like, if you guys miss a live stream tonight, or if you guys miss Mr. Morale, or let's say Don FM, her loss, whatever it is, it's all available for rewatch on the actual yeah, Patreon. Yeah, link in the description right now to the Patreon page if you guys do want to support us there. But my top three album reactions, I love this question. Um, damn. Her loss is, is there, bro. Her number loss, one. I don't know if it's number one. Okay, I'll, I'll go her loss number three. I'll go Don FM number two. Mm. And I'll go Mel My Eyes to Your Future number one. What? Kendrick's at like number four. What? Kendrick's at like number no, four. No, Because I wasn't clicking. No, I wasn't bro, immediately clicking with the album, bro. What do you bro, mean? But it was such a big moment. I know it was a huge moment. It, bro, like it was It was, it was literally was our biggest. It was our biggest reaction. But I'm saying like for like the night that I enjoyed the most, like the nights I enjoyed the most, those would be the ones. Um, number one, I would definitely go Mr. Morale. Number two, I would do the Forever Story. Number three, Her Loss. I think that was like my that's my top three for this year. Awesome. Um, Denzel Curry's in there, Heroes and Villains. Man, what a fucking year, eh? Yeah, think about that. Think about the year we just went through. It's been absolutely immaculate. Um, Baloo, keep going with it, bro. What do we got? Okay. Let's see where we're at real quick. 
Um, yes, yeah, so YKTS Culture Vivo, I was just saying that I'd love to see you in the stream tonight. But you said, rest in peace to my dog, take off, me go gang forever. And yes, rest in peace to take off, rest in peace to Big Scar and um, every hip-hop artist that we lost over this year. Very tragic passings and, um, you know, thoughts and prayers with their families. Um, yeah, next up we have Malcolm Gray. Thank you so much for being here tonight and supporting. And you said, favorite channel by... Favorite channel behind Hive Mind, much love. Thank you so much, Malcolm and Hive Mind. Have a great channel. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do. Um, some of the funniest guys on YouTube, so definitely recommend you guys checking out their stuff. But next up, we have Lauren Avila. Um, blessings to you, Lauren. You said, I know y'all. I know y'all know I'm a huge fan, so I wanted to bless y'all with some music you probably have never heard. So check the Insta DMs after this. Much love. We're absolutely gonna do that, Lauren. Much love to you, brother. Thank you for the recommendations, as always. And we'll catch you in the next Super Chat. Um, Toxic Tank says, um, he just donates, actually. Thank you so much. Trap Nation never broke again. Appreciate you. You said, NFR podcast at 1 mil by the end of 2023. Let's go. Let's do it, guys. Let's fucking get there. Um, next up, Daniel Stike says, um, nothing. Just sends a donation. Thank you so much. Prod K dot, much love to you, brother. Glad to know that. Um, you sent in another one for us. You said NFR is the biggest W for any podcast this year. Dead ass saved my life. Uh, saved my life. Excuse me. Every damn day I get to chill and watch y'all. So thank you. Um, that means so much to us that you're watching and interacting with the content on a daily basis, and that you know you're choosing to include us um, in your routine and bring us into your home. For anyone that's doing that, I mean, it's a fucking pleasure. It's an honor. And like Ant was saying before, you guys have done so much to keep our spirits up and, um, you guys have changed our lives forever. So thank you so much from the entire team. Next up, we have Kyle though. Kyle, once again, you're fucking ripping it tonight, brother. Thank you so much. And you said, I'm back boys. been going through Hell, trying to force these shrooms down. Holy crap, that was bad. <laughs> Kyle is always fucking <laughs> ripping. Fuck. He's always ripping. <laughs> Kyle, you're always either ripping something crazy or you're always on like, uh, man, it's, it's just... like a psychedelics. Yeah, he's... I mean, Kyle is literally in every single thing we do, bro. Like, I've seen Kyle everywhere. I know, bro. R Realistically. And like, Best dude. And I'm like, I'm going to be honest with you, Kyle. I'm kind of getting a bit sauced with you. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, these bamboos man. have definitely hitting. been hitting. Yeah, nice little swig right there. Mm. Fire. Fantastic. I'm going to have another glass right after this one. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to HP. Thank you so much for the super chat. He said, melt my eyes. Um, yes, it's definitely one of the best albums of the year. But... I think we're going to have to announce this winner for MVP. Yeah. All right, guys. What is the voting saying at the moment? Oh, officially in. J.I.D. wins this year over Kendrick Lamar, wow. 45%. Kendrick massive Lamar, 30%. W. Massive, massive w. Drake, 13 And Denzel Curry, 10 Incredible, guys. J.I.D. had a fantastic year. I don't blame you guys. Wow, that's incredible. But NFR's MVP of 2022 is... Drumroll, let's get it. It is... Drake! Oh, it's Drake! <laughs> guys, what the fuck? It's real. What? Because smoking. Bro, Fuja, did you vote for that, bro? Who, who's voting for... How? <laughs> Nick voted for Drake. <laughs> <laughs> guys, drop some else for Nick in the chat. <laughs> Nick and Mark. Mark just Nick came and Mark, too. Oh, shit. Oh, man. That's crazy. I think... You know what happened with that one? I think it was a 2-2 tie. And Nick, like, flipped a fucking coin and rigged that coin flip and wanted to put Drake in there. <laughs> the, the, Nick, no, wow. Uh, I know he didn't rig it, but um, that's that's shocking, guys. I think that's the biggest doll we've taken tonight, without a doubt. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> look, look at everyone in the <laughs> Massive <chat. L>. uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck? Bro, I was like, no, there's a mistake, bro. <laughs> Who fucking made this error? L Rake. But you can make the argument for sure. No, you can't. You can make... <laughs> You really can't, bro. Come on. <laughs> I want to hear the arguments after this, bro. I really do. I'm super down, bro. Oh, shit. Super down to hear that shit. Um, but yeah, let's keep on rolling. Uh, no, we got a next announcement. All right. Oh, Guys. We're at the two biggest, actually. Down to the last two categories. Best rap song and best rap album of the year. What a night These it's been. are fucking huge. And thank you guys for sticking with us this whole street. Bamboo is just it. getting... Uh, it's getting me a little gassy there. Um, yeah, I'll grab a bit more. Can I grab a bit more bamboo, please? 
Antoine wants you. a refill right about now. Jeez, man, I'm bro. Like, listen, if because if you start, like, yeah, you can't stop. You, you like, or else, like, <laughs> shit just kind of goes downhill a bit. I mean, all right. I, I kind of just, I, I mean, I shouldn't say that on camera, but I mean, fuck, it's true <laughs> though, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, because then you're holding your brother. It is what um, it is. Best rap song. The nominees are <laughs> "Walking" by Denzel Curry, "Johnny Peace Caddy" by Benny the Butcher featuring J Cole, "The Hard Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar. And Sistanem by Jid featuring James Blake. Great fucking nominees. And uh, there's no surprise. I think we both went walking here. Oh, absolutely. So it's going to come down to the other if guys. If I see some fuckery on this one, I'm definitely going to start asking some questions about the team. <laughs> That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, bro. I mean, we're going uh, we're, we're gonna to have to see what's going on here. What mind we you, no. What do you think's getting it, though? If, if you had to guess ours, what do you think's getting it? I feel like I feel like Nick went with Sistanem. That's my guess. Um, I think Faja went with walking, so I think it's gonna be walking. You think? No, I don't think Faja went walking. You don't think he went walking? I don't think he went walking. Where do you think he went? The hard part five? Maybe we'll see what happens with Faja. Mark went. Uh, I think Mark went Johnny P. Yeah, Mark probably went. I with think Johnny Mark P's. went Johnny P. Blue, let's keep going with this. What do you want to go with? Let's see. Where are we at? Um, where are we at here? The lost favorite channel here. Okay, I think we are at the we yes, we did prod there. Um Yeah, we're at HP Lovecraft. Thank you so much, HP. And you said melt my eyes. Unfortunately oh, it's been given that. away. But um Oh, we did say that. My bad. Well, yeah, we're at controversy right above it. Keep going with it. Controversy. Appreciate you. You said in a couple of years you'll be at a million subs. Thank you so much. We do hope to get there, and we will get there with your guys' help. So thank you. Next up, we have Lachlan. Once again, you've been killing it, and you said, did you guys cop a blonde repress? Yes. You and Fajet ended up doing it, bro. We ended up getting it. We have a lot of nice vinyls coming through, so we're going to shuffle some stuff in back over there. That's for sure. Once we get all of our new all of our new presses in, it's going to kind of shuffle. So thank you guys for everything. And yeah, I mean, if we've put you guys onto some vinyl releases or whatever it is, I mean, fuck it. You know, uh, thank you. Thank you for, you know, sticking along this long. But Next up, Marco1. Excuse me. Oh, Marco1 says, what motivated you guys to start the pod? To be honest, it was just kind of a situation where we were listening to music like all the fucking. We got time. lucky, bro. We actually got. We did so, get lucky. We, we got bro. We, everything. But just kind of. Like I, I think like the, the craziest part about it all is the fact that like it came about so organically. Where I was like, okay, but we're spending fucking hours in a parking lot talking about music like a bunch of of idiots. But it's actually like let's film ourselves, do something with this, right? Like let's make use of our time. And what started off as a hobby ended up moving into a career and we low-key had no so. idea what we were saying or what we were doing on mike either like we started off so raw and um you know anyone that's really like witnessed the evolution of nfr has just seen that like it's really been like brick by brick we've really been trying to improve every single week with our content and just trying to get you guys included in the dialogue like man like uh, you know when we first started in nfr we couldn't even even have dreamed about this you know just having such a beautiful and engaged community we didn't even know it would even get this no, fucking far know. you know so for you guys to stick along around the ride to make so many new friends over the years it's been so fucking sick and as i always say i genuinely do think we have the best online community out of everyone like I've heard it from so many people and just so many people that, you know, come into the content that it feels good. Um, it feels like, you know, they want to be there and it feels like they're engaged with us while we have these conversations. And that's all we could ever really ask for. So much love from the whole NFR team for 2022. 2023 will be it will be a very impressive year. We have some crazy shit coming and we have something coming tomorrow afternoon. Yes, we do. That's all I'll say. Um, little little gift to end off the year. We'll say that. All right, next up, HP Lovecraft, once again, you've been entered. And by the way, guys, we are down to the last two categories. And after we announce the winners to these, we are giving away the last vinyl of the night. So it is now your last chance. If you guys do want to send in Super Chats, the time is now. You probably guys have another like 10, 15 minutes to do so. And then we will be giving away Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And uh, yeah, let's keep on going with the Super Chats, though. Brawl Stars with Gideon says... Favorite Lil Uzi album. Also love your channel. Much love to you. My favorite Uzi album would have to be the Perfect Love Tape. The Perfect Love Tape. If we're talking about just studio albums, then Love Is Rage too. Next up, Aiden H. I appreciate you, bro. You say in life you have Roblox. DJ Khaled. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh. Happy New Year to you, Aiden. We appreciate you. What a corny uh, fucking bar. <laughs> Let's keep going on oh, with this. Let me go on to Nat Scott, Ethan, and then Mateo. You guys have all been entered into the raffle. Let me go on to controversy. You said you think Nas will do King's Disease uh, 4. 
Maybe, hopefully, or maybe it's just a trilogy. Maybe it just ends up becoming a trilogy. I think he ends off on that high note, but he does another project separate from the series. With Hit Boy? With Hit Boy. May uh, uh no. I am not sure. Probably think, not with Hit Boy. I, I think the Hit Boy run is is done. It, it's done, it did its thing. Absolutely. You know? But let me go into Kai said since we're getting deep, um y'all put me on to so many music vinyls and just life life advice in general. Couldn't imagine where I'd be personally without y'all. Thank you so much. Um thank you, Kyle. And and you know, whenever you guys come through, it helps us so much. You guys are always doing so much for us on a daily basis and we really do love you guys and we try to tell you guys that every single time we do content. Like you guys sticking along this way. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have like Loki the numbers we do. I, I know that this is really the community coming through and people see like all the millions we do on TikTok as far as views go and like people see all the numbers and shit like that. But if it wasn't for you guys, the community, none of that would be possible. It's literally because of you guys. And that's where we try to tailor our content every single time is thinking about, you know, you, Kyle, or let's say Safe or let's say Colby Cole, Jackson M, um, you know, even Lauren. Like, I'm sorry if I'm missing some names, but anyone that comes in on a daily basis. Much love to you guys. Baloo, you want to keep going with this? Absolutely. Um, next up, we had Jack Blackmore. Thank you so much for being here and supporting tonight. And you say, yo, guys, ops on life of a dark opinions on a life of a dark rose by a low skies. I think it was a pretty good record. I it mean, was a good record. I don't think Skies is really an album artist like that, but that was a definitely a memorable project from that SoundCloud era. So, um, yeah, shout out to Skies for that one. Next up, Bethany. Thank you so much for being here and supporting. We appreciate you, Bethany. And you said, this is my favorite part of the year 2023. Looks big. Um, 2023 does look big. And it's thanks to you guys rocking with us, showing us love, giving us suggestions and ideas for videos and content. Um, much love to all of you guys. We do have exciting shit happening all year next year. But especially in January. January is going to be a big fucking month, guys. Do we go on to the, the to the polls? Next up, yeah, let's go on to the polls, actually. Let's do the polls on this one. Hold on, I'm going to save. Oh, yes. Walking wins, guys. Uh, Fuck yeah. Yeah, look at that. Walking wins at 41%. The hard part, five. Comes in second this year at 35%, which was possibly one of the best songs of the year. If you guys would have told me that was your number one, I wouldn't get mad. Then Johnny P's Caddy at number three with 13%, and then System M at number four. Yeah incredible year for music as far as songs yeah. go listen but, if, if the boys gypped us on this i'm not forgiving them bro best rap got? song from nfr 2022 it had to be there was no other fucking option it's walking by denzel curry what a master class from denzel curry this year bro easily the best song of the year yeah easily the best fucking song w's in the chat for denzel curry w's in the chat and it's man. crazy how this song became because what we do in our album reactions for any of you guys that are familiar we always end off our album reactions Specifically, if the album's bad or not that great, we ended off with an ear cleanser to kind of, you know, leave a good taste in your mouth before you leave the live stream. And Walkin kind of became the go-to ear cleanser for us. So, um, what a fucking special, magical song. Love it. Absolutely. Okay, so, I guess we're on to, like, bro, it's the last one tonight. Last category, Okay, guys. guys. Since we're at the last category, we'll say this. Once best album of the year is announced, we will be announcing the winner. Hold on, let me just. Yeah, I grabbed that vinyl. Mr. Morale. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is going to be given away on vinyl. This is the final album that will be raffled off tonight. So if you have sent in a Super Chat, besides the winners, the two other winners that we have, you guys are entered in to win this vinyl, and it's going to be announced very soon. But, Lou, let's go through the best rap albums of the year. All right, so best rap album of 2022, the biggest category of the night. Yes, sir. And the nominations are Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, by Kendrick Lamar. The Forever Story by Jid. Melt My Eyes, See Your Future by Denzel Curry. And King's Disease 3 by Nas. This is Jid's. You think so? This you is Jid's category, bro. Um, Come on. Melt My Eyes, See Your Future, baby. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Results uh, are pulling ahead for the Forever Story. Love to see it, guys. You guys have taste. Yeah, you guys always have great taste. And Melt My Eyes to Your Future is at that second position right now. Let's see what uh, happens. Uh, actually, it's third. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper is, is right it's there. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's definitely picking up. But, Lou, you want to continue with the Super Chats? Let's keep it running. Let's see. Let's see. We are now at Jake West. Thank you so much. And you said, Jeezy Snowfall, the most underrated album of 2022. Big fucking W, Jake. I mean, Snowfall, um, it just had this thunderous and monstrous energy to it. From the triumphant production to Jeezy's knack for these quick flows and just this amazing track presence. I feel like he gave more passion 
and effort than a lot of other rappers. But um, let's keep on going. Next up, we have Zach Olson, who says, love the content, boys. This show is so great um, so far. Thank you so much, Zach. We hope to keep bringing you amazing content and content that you enjoy in the new year. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm going to butt in right now. So the Super Chats will be closing for the raffle in exactly five minutes. So if you guys want to get in any last minute raffles, now is the time. I will warn you guys once the raffle closes because any Super Chat that is donated after the raffle is closed will not be contributed towards the giveaway. Baloo, continue with the Super Chats. Absolutely. Next up, we are at Nicholas Watson. Appreciate you, brother, for coming through. And you said, love the channel. I'll watch every vid you guys drop um that's awesome honestly speaking just because we're dropping pretty frequently on the channel we have like two you know full-length videos every week then we have our shorts that come out we have our tiktok so for you to say that you watch every video it means that you're a true supporter and that means the world to us so thank you next up we have hp lovecraft you're killing it lately and you said day old rock star Plus, they will rock. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. I'll search it up on Apple Music once I finish this off. But HB, you have been entered. Let me go on to controversy once again. Any thoughts on Kanye's statements this year? I don't really have any thoughts on them. I mean, I, I don't condone anything he says, but I still listen to his music. And his unreleased I, shit is sounding it, fucking fire right it, it about is, now. It is, you know, but definitely the comments that he makes are not valid whatsoever. No. So let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to, I believe it is, HP once again, the old rock star. You tweeted, yeah, not you tweeted it. You commented it again. We appreciate you. Let's go on to Jorge. You said... Real is the best song on GKMC. Wow, that's a hot take. What? I've never seen that. Um, I mean, no, it wouldn't be my personal it's favorite. It's probably like second or third least best. Like it's it's re definitely towards the, the the bottom of the ranking off of that album, to be honest. Uh, but let um, me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Unknown. I hope you're doing well. He said, shout out to the click. Much love. Much love to you. Let me go on to Kyle. Hope you're doing well. You said DMB, most underrated song of 2022. I agree with you. Eh. Not many people liked it, including Lou, but I really did enjoy it, and it was heavy in my rotation when it dropped back in May. But let me go on to JJ, one of the biggest OGs in the hey. community. Man, I'm so happy to see you here tonight, brother. Thank you so much for coming through. He said, grateful for another year of NFR content. I know you guys are all just warming up, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for the channel. Still the best music channel out right now, NFR Pharrell. Hashtag NFR Pharrell. And I find that so cool that like our kind of nickname for the channel and like for anyone that's like kind of like in it and like the kind of like inside tag is NFR Pharrell. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for coming through. Let's go on to Dylan. I hope you're doing well tonight. Another big OG. Thank you so much for coming in. And you said opinions on new little Sims. NFR has been carrying this year. Salute to the boys. Salute to you. And no thank you is a fantastic record. Maybe if I had more time with it, it would have crept into my top 10. But I still think it is quality. Let me go on to controversy. I hope you're doing well tonight, bro. And you said, have you guys listened to every hip-hop album? No, I have not. I won't lie to you. I mean, I I've, I still have discographies to go through. I still have re-listens. It's so hard to keep up yeah. with everything. And like anyone that tells you they've listened to everything is lying. is lying to you. Because it's literally humanly impossible. You would have to spend hours and hours and like you couldn't you can't sleep yeah so and, and, and I, I tell the stands all the time like i feel like i've heard nothing i feel like I, i've heard no fucking um albums when it comes to hip-hop in terms of just how much there is out there and how much i still have to listen to um it feels like there's a whole world to explore just in the hip-hop genre still. absolutely but let me keep going on with this let me go into nick watson thank you so much for coming through tonight bro and you said favorite type of rap song love a personal cut i love personal cuts uh cuts too but i would have to say always concept songs bro like the for your eyes only's bro like the stands like those types of tracks sing about me i'm dying at thirst i always think end up being the best of the genre so that would be my pick how about you bro What's either your uh, type? storytelling songs i definitely love songs like rewind or sing about me like you said um storytelling or even just lyrical onslaughts like just songs where um rappers are showing you their skill sets on you know on full display that's really the, the two types of tracks that that get me going the most for sure but next up we have hp lovecraft once again and you said day old rock star one day at a time last entry best of luck to you hp still don't know what day old rock star is but um yeah Maybe it's an artist. I'll check it out. Thank you. Next up, Controversy says, do you guys think M will drop in 2023? Great question. Um, I think he does drop. Usually he'll take like at the most three-year gap in between albums. It's going to be three years. It's going to be three years. So Eminem will probably drop an album and it would be the first time for us to cover it on our channel. So that would be a great moment to experience. We're still missing an Eminem rollout. Eh? What, what rollouts are we missing? Frank Ocean, Travis. Eminem. ASAP Rocky completely. 
Um, yeah. and, and no, we did Playboy Cardi. Kind of. Half, half. We only did the review. Yeah, we didn't really do it. And it was so early on. We didn't have a rating system. It was kind of a shit video, though. Uzi but, as well. We haven't done an Uzi rollout yet. Wow, we have so much still to think mm. about that. How much we have to cover. But let me go on to Kyle. And you said Cardi can literally post a pic of his dung. And Cardi stands will think that he's dropping that night. It's hilarious. I, I agree with you. But I mean, like, it's so unpredictable that I can't even put it past them. And, like, even myself, every time that he drops something on his socials, he's so mystique that you think it's going to end up leading to something. So we'll see what happens. And you said favorite cereal on Omar's side. You've been entered into the uh, to the raffle And by the well. way, guys, last call. Um, actually, is the Super Chat close already? Let me see what Nick's... Nick, is the Super Chat close? No, guys, yet. last call. If you guys do want to send in a Super Chat and have a chance to win a vinyl of Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, the time is now. It's going to be closing in any minute. And at, once it's closed, your Super Chats will not go towards the raffle. So make sure to send them in while you still can. Best of luck to everybody. And... We're about to reach that point where we announce the winner of the best rap album, bro. And, we are uh, there. Which ones do you think are acceptable takes? You think they're all acceptable? Cause I you think have... they're all acceptable. I think so, too. They're, they all made my top 10 list, realistically. Yeah. So, Omar asks me, my favorite cereal? I've always been a Corn Pops guy. Corn Pops. Have Cinnamon been... uh, Tea Crunch for me. Yeah, that's crazy as well. But Tilt, E-Business, Tilt Again, and Nad, you guys have been entered into the raffle, as well as Sebastian Lopez and Daniel Sky. Uh, but, bro, did we start getting into this album of the year conversation? What do we got Let's here? Let's start getting into it, man. I mean, no surprise. It's just the forever story. That's my pick, guys. So, big W to the community on that one. What do you think the team's saying on this one? Um, You went with uh, Mel My Eyes, right? I went with Mel My Eyes. I know Eyes. that if Fajet went with um, the forever story, I also went with the forever story. Um, I feel like Nick went with Mr. Morale, and then uh, Mark would have gone with... Probably the forever story. We'll see what happens here. But listen, according to the community, the best rap album of 2022 is the forever story, winning at 50%. Mr. Mom and the Big Seppers comes at number two at 25%. Melt My Eyes to Your Future by Denzel Curry comes at 18%. And KD3 comes at 5%. Very interesting, Baloo. Let's get on to our final category of NFR's award show, the best rap album of 2022, voted amongst the whole team, all five members. Let's do this. Let's rip And the it. award... For the best rap album of 2022, according to NFR Podcast, is The Forever Story by J.I.D. has won Album of the Year. It is the best album of the fucking year. Congratulations to Jid. Very well deserved. Fantastic album, bro. Lived up to the expectations. And listen, guys, that wraps up our nominations for tonight. Nick, it is officially closed. It's we officially closed, closed, guys. So any super chats that you now send in will just be generous donations to NFR, but they will not count towards the vinyl raffle. The last, the last super chat for tonight is Jose. By the way, that is the one last one that I have on my, uh, on my screen right now. Hold on a second. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> what's what's Gamma saying? What's wrong with Gamma? What's Gamma turn up saying? that JID and Denzel Curry with the nerd face. Listen, if he doesn't fuck with them, he doesn't fuck with them. That's all. That's just the way things go <laughs> in life. So let's keep going with this, guys. All right, let's rip through these super chats. What do we have here right now? And Nick, by the way, Nick is going to be announcing the winner very soon. Yeah, very We're shortly. putting everything through the randomizer, and he will be coming through to the to the camera once he is ready. All right, but go let's for it. See what we, we have going on, real quick. Hold up. Kind of lost track, so just finding my step here. Boom. Let's see. Let's see where we at. A lot of super chats. Uh, what do we got? Okay, here? there we go. We are now at controversy. Thank you so much, bro. You've been killing it all night, and you've been super generous. You said Kendrick has some pretty great unreleased material. Um, there was that song. I think it was called. Was it the Prayer? It was the prayer. That might have been on uh, on Mr. Morale. I didn't end up making it. That song is phenomenal. And I think he definitely does have amazing tracks in that unreleased catalog. But next up, we have uh, Ivan. Thank you so much. And you said, been watching your guys' videos for a few months now. And you've been killing it. Keep up the great work. Looking fresh, by the way. Love from Mexico. Um, that's awesome that you've been watching us for as much time as you have. And we hope that you keep watching in 2023. So much love to you. But it is now time to announce... The winner of the final vinyl of the night, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar. Shout out to everybody who donated tonight. Best of luck to everybody. Let's get a fucking drum roll going. And the winner of 
the Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers vinyl is Sebastian Lopez. Hey, you Mr. shout out Sebastian. Steppers. Hey, there we go. Shout out to you. Hit us up on Instagram. And just to remind everyone of the winners. Hold on, there we go. Got the Jack Maxwell, you won the I Never Liked You vinyl. Ben Kawucha, you won the Melt My Eyes See Your Future. And Sebastian Lopez, you won Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Congratulations to everyone and thank you to everyone for sending in Super Chats. Much love to everyone, Appreciate guys. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Absolutely. Balu, let's continue off with these Super Chats. Bro. What Absolutely. Have we got? Absolutely. Let's see where we're at right here. I completely um, lost. I'm not going to lie to you. We are now at... Do, 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 do. Mexico. HP Lovecraft, you said it was your last one. I guess you lied. Or Waka they old rock star whatever that means brother much love to you um sebastian lopez congrats bro you're the next super <laughs> chat you just won the fucking vinyl you said jitter kendrick for album of the year i guess you just got your album of the year on vinyl what a fucking way to end off the year bro congrats to you next up daniel says doesn't say anything much love though um too bad you couldn't win it controversy says denzel i'm getting very nervous um unfortunately They've all been given away, but um, we're definitely going to be doing more um, vinyl raffles in the future, guys, on live streams. So this definitely won't be your last chance to be gifted a vinyl from NFR. But next up, we have Jay Tuna, big OG as well. And you said, Happy New Year, lads. Thanks for the amazing content. Happy New Year to you and your family. Hope you enjoy the holidays. And that goes for everybody here, guys. Happy New Year. And we do hope that you enjoy this holiday season with your families and friends. Next up, HP Lovecraft again. Or Waka, day old rock star, last entry, I swear. You really put in the work, HP. I respect you for it. But next up, we had Sebastian, who had sent in another one. Glad to see that it paid off. Then we have Luke to Bone, Kendrick Vinyl incoming. Sorry that you couldn't get it, brother. Best of luck next time. Then we have Snoopy, double G. Appreciate you. You said, thanks for the amazing content. Shout out from Montreal. Much love. Montreal representing in the house tonight. That's fucking awesome. Next up, Omar Perez sent two back-to-back. -back. Sorry you couldn't win it tonight. Then we have Controversy says, I already have Dots, Mr. Morale, and the Big Steppers on vinyl. Um, it's a fantastic awesome. vinyl. It's a yeah. beautiful vinyl. Absolutely. I'll continue from here. What's going on, Laclan, Daniel, Ethan, and Nad? You guys have all been entered once again. Um, thank you for the donations tonight. We appreciate you guys. Then we have Hugo that says, hey, guys, watching from Portugal. Love your content. Wanted to know if you all coming to Rolling Loud Portugal. Keep it up. Can I get a shout-out to Portugal? Shout-out to Portugal. I mean, listen, it's, uh, it's a funny... <laughs> Nick did the C in back. Uh, you know... It I followed you guys' national team for a while now. Portugal has always had a really solid foot national team, bro. Even back then, like, when I was watching, like, in, like, the later 2000s, bro, like, seeing, like, Luis Fico being able to play live, bro, and even, like, that old CR7, bro, like... It was yeah. disgusting, bro. There was some crazy shit going a lot on. Of with talent. Even Louis Nanny, bro. Nanny, I, I, have yes. you ever watched old Nanny highlights? Jeez, you could literally sit at your fucking computer all day long. But let me keep going on with this. Shout out to Hugo. Let me go on to Jocelyn. I hope you're doing well. You said your content is great. Um, can I have the K dot vinyl? Jocelyn, unfortunately, you did not get it tonight, but that's fine because you were here tonight and you were able to spend it with us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the super chats. Let me go on to Sibril. I appreciate you. And you said, need that Kendrick vinyl. Happy New Year, boys. Happy New Year's to you. Now, let me go on to, I believe it is Mateo, Luke, Daniel, and Mateo. Once again, you guys have all been entered. But Bailey says, overall, do you guys think The Weeknd is a better artist than Drake? Also, can you do a video ranking of all The Weeknd's songs and maybe more non-rap content? We will be doing more non-rap content at a certain point, incorporating it into more tier lists and in more certain interviews, maybe. Maybe. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely start dipping into that bag um, once everyone feels comfortable. You know, Do we think The Weeknd's a better artist than Drake? I personally prefer Drake's music. I think Drake's the better artist. I think Weekend maybe has the better catalog overall big picture. That's yeah, my take. I agree with you. But let's go on to Ryan Fisher. Thank you so much for another super chat. He said, the worst part about a Kendrick release is knowing that we have years before another <laughs> album. I don't think so. I, don't I, think think he, so. I, I think he surprises everyone next year, actually. Uh, that's a hot take. Oh, on my 2023? Book. I think he has a hot take Ooh, next year. I think year. 2024. He's going to be active, bro. Now that he's with PG Lang, he's going to be super fucking active. I think active. 2024. We'll have to see, though. But let's go on to LeClan. Thank you so much for another super chat. He said, amazing year, boys. Bought the Pimple Butterfly vinyl today. Another. Hopefully. Uh, but, I mean, you could get GKMC on vinyl. I have the 10-year anniversary. I have the regular one. Um, I have T-Pab. <laughs> um, I want to get Diamond Untitled. So, we'll see what happens. But Luke Daniel. Uh, Mateo again and Hollow, you guys have all been entered into the raffle. 
Let me go on to Lawrence. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, really enjoy the content tonight. I'm an older head at 35, so I really appreciate you guys putting in the work so I can just follow along with these new artists slash releases easily. Much love. Much love to you, Lawrence. We appreciate you and we hope that you're enjoying the content. But let's keep going on with this. Let me go on to Champagne. I hope you're doing well tonight. You said, NFR, can you do some for me? I can do some for you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming through tonight. Let me go on to AIF. Thank you so much for coming in tonight, brother. And you said, hello. Um, excuse me. Hello, guys guys glad to hear glad to be here tonight we appreciate you thank you so much for pulling up next we have daniel appreciate the super chat brother we appreciate you and you said happy new year's guys y'all are awesome and i am happy to have discovered the channel as i was becoming invested in rap i'm going to see SZA on tour also wow. congratulations it's going to be a fantastic show and i'm glad that we could be there for you when it comes to the rap genre and music as a whole but let me see what's up to mateo once again sorry hold on i'm mateo yes mateo once again Hollow, Gardo, Hollow once again, Mike G, Lethals, and Daniel. You guys were all entered in for the raffle. Let me go on to Danny. He said, love you guys. Best channel on YouTube. Love you, brother. Thank you so much for coming through. Then we have Nads. Thank you so much for another super chat. You absolutely ripped it tonight. And you said, a lot of Fantano mentions. What do you guys think about his worst album review? Great show. Much love. Swimming is the Swim worst album swimming, review from swim, Mr. Anthony Swimming Fantano. was a, definitely a take that I didn't agree with, but... Hey, hopefully one day I could have a conversation with them about it. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to Omar. Appreciate you so much. And you said, trying to get into Mac Miller's discog. How should I? Start from kids. Yep. Whatever you do, it's just start from kids. the best entry point possible, <laughs> Just start from though. kids. Whatever you want to do with Mac Miller's discography, please start from kids and then work your way up. He has so many mixtapes. He has so many releases. He has a crazy feature game as well. So have fun within it. But let me go on to, I believe we are at Daniel Sky and Caesar. Daniel Sky four times and Caesar with another super chat. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Then we have Giovanni, Daniel, Lethals, Daniel once again, and Shrimp. You guys were all in for the raffle. But let me go on to Shrimp's other super chat. You said, I'm so hyped for Don't Be Dumb. Love what Rocky's been doing lately. And I have to agree with you. I mean, just looking at what Rocky's been doing as far as his visuals, as far as the teasing with the unreleased snippets, as far as everything he did in 2021 to preview new music, I definitely do think that it will be one of the best releases of the new year. But let me go on to Hollow. Thank you so much for another super chat. And you said, hope everyone has an amazing 2023. Happy New Year to everyone that's in the chat right now. If you guys are from Asia, if you guys are from Europe, if you guys are from Australia, if you guys are from North America, doesn't matter where you guys are at. You guys are with NFR Podcast right now talking about music and there's a crazy fucking spider crawling down that fucking camera. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, right here. Look at the look right there. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow. Oh shit. Look at him go. Nick yeah. Yeah, fuck him up, no, bro. No, you know what? Let him be. Let no, him, no, fuck no, him no, up, no, 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 no. Don't fuck him up. Let him be. I, bro, how yeah, spider... He, he, yeah, he's not fucking next to you. It's easy for you to That's say, bro. That's... Bro, he's chill. He's He showed up tonight. He showed up tonight. How are you going to kill I'm, again? I'm whacking him, bro. No, you're not whacking... Come on. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's finished. <laughs> they're cr Bro, they're great for the house. You never kill a house spider. Actually, I, I, I don't see his remains, so he might still be crawling. Let me see your slipper. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck you. You didn't, oh, get him. didn't get him. No, you didn't. He's still rolling around. What could we name him? Oh, don't fuck around with yeah, the spider. Gone. No, let him go, bro. Come he's on. gone. No, he's not. Yeah, he I, don't, I don't see anything in your slipper. That's cap. Right here. Let me see. You're pointing at a black piece of your shoe. You just can't see from this far, I guess. But listen, uh, unless I, I'm... I think you're missing <laughs> the eyeglasses <laughs> Unless I'm fucking one. blind, I didn't see any spider remains on your shoe. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to, I believe it is... Guermo, thank you so much for coming through tonight. And you said, thank you all for the content this year. Shout out from Mexico. Shout out from Canada. Thank you so much for pulling up this year. Then we have Lethals, Daniel Sky again, Drummond, Lethals again. You guys have all been entered. And then we go on to Lethals again with another super chat. And you said, people are saying Metro Spider. <laughs> Bro, there's a rule. You never kill a house spider. It means it's taking care of your like cleaning with other bugs, bro. You got to keep him in there. You have to keep your spiders in there. And they're sick fucks. They don't even bother you. What does a spider ever do? It literally just chills in a corner and never bothers anyone. It just wants to have a fountain. Yes, I found his fucking body, bro. He's finished. He got smoked. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I can understand if it's a fucking cockroach or a centipede. Bro, he's right I mean, next to me, bro. I don't feel comfortable, man. I don't know what to tell he's you. He's not going to come up your fucking leg. You're, you're like 15 times. No, it's probably just creepy, bro. I'm not D. Uh, I get you. Okay, anyways, keep anyways. going with the super chats, bro. Right, um, lethals, by the way. All right. Hoping to get that Lethal Kendrick says, vinyl. hoping to get that Kendrick vinyl. Unfortunately, you didn't get it. Hopefully, next time. After that, we have Aiden James. You've been killing it tonight. You said, Metro Boomin was my first live stream and easy best. 
awesome that you were able to check that out with us. And by the way, guys, right after this stream at 11 p.m. Eastern, we are doing a live album reaction to Snoop Dogg and DJ Drama's album that came out in October called I Still Got It. Rest in peace to Metro Spider, though. <laughs> Poor Metro <laughs> Spider. Um, but yeah, speaking about I Still Got It, that live album reaction going down at 11 p.m., link in the description if you guys do want to join us. And it's an awesome experience if you're new to that. We actually go through every song of albums, of new albums, and... We take your takes. We guys make you guys vote on if the song is fire or not in the polls. Awesome experience. We'd love to see you guys there tonight. But next up, we have Drummond Lethals. They all donated. Thank you. Drummond said, Danny Brown the Goat. I can't wait for Quaranta, which is his next album, bro. That's going to be fucking awesome. Next up, Lazonia. My top three is Kendrick, NLE, and Her Loss. Or Jeezy. NLE's an L. Besides that, I respect it. Um, next, next up, we have Omar. Says, favorite bag of chips. Um, Miss Vicky's jalapeno pepper is definitely up there. Um, I know Pr it's a hot Pringles take. are crazy, bro. Pringles are great. Lace ketchup, bro. I love a bag. You're of a lace, lace ketchup, ketchup yeah. guy. That's great. What? What? What is it? Sweet chili heat mm, for sure is yes. up there. Doritos, yeah, absolutely. That's like a good high chip. You smoke a fat fucking doink, bro, to your face. You want to rip through a whole bag of those Dorito chips, but Lou, keep going, bro. Next up, we have Venom. Thank you so much. And you said, how you got? Have you guys ever reacted to Tech Nine? No, we haven't, but if there's ever a week where we get the chance to, it'd be awesome to. Great lyricist. Next up, Ryan Fisher. Thank you so much for donating. Kobe Cole, can't wait to see you in the live stream later. And you said, can proudly say, I don't think I missed a single live album reaction this year. The top three best, Mr. Morale, Snowfall, and Don FM. Funniest was the baby. Kobe, that's fucking awesome, bro. Honestly, like, drop W's for Kobe in the chat. He literally was at every single album reaction um, of the year this year, and... He's also in every stream, every fucking video. You, you see him in the comments. Um, we really admire the dedication, bro. So thank you for the endless support and to everybody who's endlessly supporting us um, the same way. HP Lovecraft, you keep lying to yourself. You said, Orwaka, day old rock star, last entry, content is fire. Nad, thank you. Ryan Fisher, would you guys ever consider having an artist on the show? Absolutely, and do not be surprised. If you see that in 2023. Oh, that'd be crazy. Next up, we have Sebastian Lopez. He said, Kendrick's the goat. I'm happy that you won the vinyl from the man that you believe to be a goat. That's awesome. Kobe Cole had to give MVP because he followed the IG. Um, uh, to, to Drake? No. I, I don't know what the fuck went on with that one, bro. That was an L. Don't you think? I, it wasn't my vote, but like he did launch some of the most successful records of this year and had one of the biggest moments. So like I can't even like be mad at it. But let me keep going on with this. Let me go on to your B. I hope you're doing well tonight. And you said love the videos. You guys want to be at Metro Metro? Yes, we are. We are going to be at Metro Metro. But let me go on to Omar. I need that vinyl. Unfortunately, you did not get it. But we appreciate you for being in here tonight, and we appreciate everyone that has been sending in super chats. But let me go on to Omar Pranash. I believe Malik, Daniel Sky, Nat, and Diego Alves, you guys all sent in Super Chats, as well as Timmy. You guys were all entered into the vinyl giveaway, as well as Chandler. You said, need that vinyl. And then we said, W. And then after that, we had Hollow, who said, W, been a fan since mid-2021. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. And Chandler, as well as you, thank you for the Super Chat. But let me go on to HP again. Which song is better, Soldier by Eminem or Saba? Which song is better? Which songs? Why is Saba a song? Saba's an artist. Soldier by Eminem. I love, by the way, I love the song Soldier by Eminem. It's a fantastic track. Or Saba. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't exactly. know if Saba's a song, to be honest. Oh, Soldier by Eminem or by Saba. That's why. Oh, shit. I go with Eminem on I this. I go with Eminem. Yeah, it's a fucking incredible song. But let me keep going on with this. Oh, Lou, I fucked up, bro. We're now in Nad and Diego. Uh, Diogo. Yeah, Diogo Alves. Thank you, guys. Um, Jehu says Tom McDonald wasn't even nominated. Common NFRW. <laughs> Coming with the jokes tonight, Jehu. We love to see it. Um, next up, Jay Prod. Appreciate you, man. You said Hot Take, Damn, is Kendrick's best album. I cannot get behind that agenda. Um, I just think that when you're looking at like just the mainstream pop attempts, it just it doesn't feel like the most, I would say, integral Kendrick album. I'll put it that way. Next up, we have... Timmy Kobe, thank you so much for being here. Bert Cobain says, bro, how does your team have to be? How does, how big Bi does your... Bias, maybe? No, 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 no how big. Bro, okay. bro, how big does your team have to be to uh, for Drake to be chosen, excuse me, over GID? Also, name an artist with a more complete classic discography. 
Um, complete classic discography. Kanye is up there. He has the most classics, in my opinion. Kendrick, too. Kendrick yeah. as well. Tribe Mark. Called Quest, Outcast. Jay-Z has a lot of classics. Um, and how big does the team have to be? Well, is the camera, is the switch on me right now? It is on me. Guys, come in here. If someone, if someone, let's start one at a time. Bro, you want to come through? Let me introduce you guys. <laughs> let's to the team. have Bru come on. Yeah, let, let, let's First fucking appearance. yeah, let's fucking do it for Brunus. Bro, get in here. Let's go. Brunus. No, Bru left. <laughs> he left from the for like the entire no. night. He left the studio. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, Mark, let's go, bro. You're up next. Come on. Uh, that, Mark, uh, I uh, see him <laughs> sitting on the couch. Get over here. W so w why don't you tell the community about Mark's rotation, bro? <laughs> no, Mark. M Mark is a man of culture. M man, listen. Of uh, Mark is one. Say one thing. Drake, MVP, most valuable player. <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> Shit. Uh, my goodness. Sheesh. But my listen, goodness. Um, if you guys want to know what Mark does, uh, Mark takes care of all of our TikTok and YouTube shorts posting. Uh, Mark does a lot of marketing and editing for us as well. Um, always within content sessions. So like all of the stuff that you guys see on shorts or TikTok, he has a direct influence in. He helps us out with content ideas. Um, such a valuable member to the team and um, has been working for us. Um, bro, how long is it now, man? What's How long you been a part of the team? It's just over a year right now, and and listen. Besides that, he's been a, a best friend of ours for such a long time, a brother. And um, thank you so much for the incredible year. But let's get Fajella in here, bro. Let's get Faje. Come through, bro. Let's do this. Come on, get get over here. I know you're on the computer right now, and you're probably switching. Let's do it. I want to properly introduce you guys to the NFR team because there's a lot more that goes into us than just like Lou, Nick, and I. But Faje, come here. All right, so what was the biggest snub for tonight? What do you think was the one that kind of got you going the crazy? <laughs> 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 and and what? Rest in peace, Metro Spider. <laughs> Metro, bro, Metro Spider had to be living for this one. But what Fajella does is that he takes care of all the Twitter and Instagram content. So every single take that you guys see, every single update that you guys see on the Twitter is taking care of Fajella. He's a fantastic member of the team when it comes to keeping people updated, when it comes to the social media content, even when it comes to graphic designing, so, you know, anything. Fajella has been here for a very long time and he low-key like I think he actually launched a Twitter with us and I mean you guys already met fucking Nick so I mean uh, you want to come in here you want to say one last thing bro what do you got Nick Nick at the end. We'll do something at the end. yeah Nick will come in the end all right okay, let's, let's keep, keep on ripping through these super chats because um, we are starting another live stream very soon um, next up we have Sab a few good things most underrated album of the year from Scott Rooney thank you so much Scott um most underrated album of the year? Yeah, that's a great fucking pick, bro. Um, it cracked my top 10, so I'd love to see it. Um, Omar and Yeast, thank you guys. Adam P, been a great year for hip-hop and music in general and loved having the NFR fam with us every step of the way. Much love to y'all. Let's make 2023 even better. Um, I love the positivity, Adam. I love the support. You're a real one, and we hope to, um, to keep making great content for you and everyone else watching in the new year. Much love to you, brother. Hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Marco won once again. She a 10 but hates rap? What's her rating now? Great fucking question. Um, I, still, I, I, I still date her. I mean, like, what's wrong? I'll like, give her the 8. I'll hey, give her the 8. No, this is like not rap. point. Come on, bro. You'd like, I, want, I want my woman to be cultured. Yeah, but what happens if she's like, well, what, what happens if she puts you onto a completely different genre, bro, and she gives you a completely different... Hip-hop is life. Um, <laughs> next up, Samraj, thank you so much for coming in tonight. And you said, love from London. Keep doing your stuff. Um, much love from Canada. Best, um, best New Year's wishes to you, my friend. Prod K dot. Thank you. Take a KKT. Thank you. Sebastian Lopez says, Mr. Morale mine. I'm sorry you couldn't get it. HP Garrison. Thank you. Jose most underrated rapper blue B L U. Listen, um, to blue, please. Um, Motiba Omar. Shout out to you guys. That guy Zay. I want to win. By the way, most underrated rapper for someone that's underground, D2X as well. Um, that guy, Zay, I want to win. I'm sorry you couldn't win. Prodigy, Joey, my goat. Shout out to Joey, badass. Prod K. Will. Lachlan, I ate one more. Sorry that one more didn't amount to anything, but maybe next time. Um, Jose, you said love for rent, heavily underrated. Absolutely. I mean, just Semino's voice is so unorthodox and it's quirky and... Um, he had great vocals shining throughout that entire project. Hollow says donated just to say Gamma a L. I don't know what Gamma is. 
Gamma, someone in the chats right now. The chats are going crazy. Everyone's beefing right now in the chats. It's kind of like you and I. It's kind of like you and I in the chats right now. <laughs> it's, it's bro. I swear. What is Gamma God, doing? I I couldn't tell just because there's so many yeah. fucking chats coming at once. But everyone's opinion is valued at at a far podcast. Of course, as long and, as um, as long as as long as. It's within reason. That's, That's it all for say. tonight's Super Chats. We also have Yanni's Beats who donated a sticker. Thank you so much. That's generous of you. So that's Mr. It, Baby man? and Allah. That's it, bro. We fucking made it, guys. We did it, guys. That was a award yeah, show, baby. Let's fucking go. go. What a year, guys. What a fucking amazing Incredible year. Incredible year. It's thanks to each and every single one of you guys. None of this would have been possible without your love, without your support. Um, and without your patience with us, as you, as you guys have seen us grow bigger and bigger over time. And next year will not be any different. And um, I just wanted to say that you guys have really helped us on a personal level, of course, on a career level. Um, we're just so grateful, guys. Like this year, we've been grateful for this community because you guys have done the most for us. I, and I we love you all. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, guys. And, and I want to say this. 2023 is going to be a fucking sick year. Fuck yeah. It's going to be a fucking sick year. We're going to do so much. We're going to... I, I just... I can't wait to see what goes down. Like, I, I really want to see. And listen, with that being said, tomorrow... Announcement. And tomorrow there's... Uh, An announcement of some sorts, bro. No, 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 no. We can't say anything. <laughs> we can't say anything. You guys will be finding out at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow... About what we're talking about. Just keep your eyes peeled. Head to the social medias. Instagram. Twitter. YouTube community. Whatever serves you guys best. We are making a fucking announcement tomorrow. It's going to be absolutely yes, massive. And guys, 11 p.m. tonight, guys. Catch us in that live stream. I mean, we might postpone it for might like 15. Might postpone it to like 11.10 11, 11, or something. 11.15 more or less. Some shit like that. Yeah, just to like kind of get a breather in some water. I've been fucking talking for I know, three hours. I know, man. I know, And I got to maybe get a little bit more bamboo in me to get it going. So, I mean. Uh, <laughs> I don't listen, know if there's any left. We're going to down that fucking bottle, man. It's okay. We'll open up another one. But <laughs> listen, much love to everyone that showed up tonight. Tonight was a major fucking success. This is a big celebration for the whole community 2022 was beautiful we went through peaks we went through valleys but at the end of the day we made it through 2022 and that is all that yep. matters um thank you to everyone that has supported the brand over the course of the 365 it has been absolutely amazing to witness not only the support but the dedication to our content you guys come in every single fucking day and support us and that is all that matters you guys have changed the whole team's lives this year and next year Guys, I'm telling you, it's going to be absolutely fucking ridiculous. But Nick has to come in and make a little bit of a speech, bro. Get in here. Get in here. Let's go. A little go. final speech here. A little final Wrap speech and off NFR's year, bro. Nick is going to end off this first live stream for the first time. You guys, come come on. Whole Ever, team, the whole, whole team, team comes in. Up. Come through. A little family photo going on. Well, listen, guys. Honestly, shout out to everyone. Thank you for everything that you guys do for us. I mean, listen, 2023 is going to be fucking crazy. We can't say much. And said to check in at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Lou, come in here, bro. <laughs> everyone get in one shot. Um, happy holidays to everyone as well. I mean, if you're driving, drive responsibly as well as like enjoy the time with family. You know what I mean? I mean, the holidays is a time to be with family and to enjoy that that quality time. So I think it's important to to cherish those moments and not take them for granted. So anyone that is driving, drive responsibly. And everyone that's been here in this stream and that's been supporting us, thank you a hundred times. And let's drop some hashtag NFR4L in the chat right now. Let's get the whole NFR community going crazy. And end off the stream, bro. So listen, guys, it was an incredible year. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. Everything from the Kendrick Lamar live stream all the way up to, you know, all the tier lists that we dropped this year, all of the beautiful support. This is the best community online. I guarantee you that. And we'll see what happens for the new year. So, guys, we are going live on the Patreon at 11.15 p.m. Eastern time. I think that's what we'll probably do it at. Um, we're going to get some water. We're going to get refreshed for the new year. I'm going to change out of this fucking suit. And, I mean, uh, yeah, bro, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.